Hello, how are you doing? Yeah, I think the, the card fell over. My 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 little FIFA card fell over. We needed to fix it. How you guys doing? Well, I trust. Timer is propaganda manufactured by your local government. Yes, I'm doing Uzbekistan. Look, that would, would which would be well. If you're doing Uzbekistan, that means that you're doing well. Ugh, Uzbekistan into the quarterfinals. Playing the host nation, Qatar, in the quarterfinal. Perfect. Ideal. Glorious. They were actually way better than Thailand, too. I watched the extended highlights after I woke up this morning, and Uzbekistan not only beat Thailand, way better than them, I thought, for the course of the match. Great stuff. Big Truck, thank you for the 28 months, my dude. Thank you for supporting the stream. Servalor, thank you for the 40... Three months. Been a long time. Yeah. Crazy Jordy boy, thank you for the 18 months. You haven't been able to watch since the start of knock. Oh, yeah, I, I did catch that guy. James, thank you for the uh, 50 bits. 111 yellow cards, 64 red cards, and 30 goals in a weekend over 18 games. How many key highlights per game would FM show? Pretty sure all of those, or at least the um, the red cards, the goals, would all be key highlights, right? Plus, I'm just not picking up what you're putting down. Sertero, thank you so much for the tier one, dude. At least, at least two highlights. It would give you the replay of the goal. What's up, Harvey? Is Flash score better than FOTMOB on Android? I've never used FOTMOB. I don't know. I'm not like a comparison site. I'm not a reviewer for score sites. I use the one that I have set up with all of the competitions at the top. Uzbek starters are very young. Dude, get them to the World Cup. They looked really good. They were just better than Thailand. Deserve the dub. Absolutely uh, tremendous. Fabulous. If I'm up, could be great. I could legitimately be better. Whoa, dude, what? Wally! Wally with the 25 gifted subs, dude. Wally, Wally, Wally. Wally with the 25 gifted subs. All right, Wally, I see you. Thank you for making 25 people's days. Thanks for giving them the ad-free experience. If you got one of the gifted subs, be sure to say thank you. Look Wally dead in the eye sockets and be like, dude, thanks. You put on Daft Punk, I gift subs. Oh, that's that's uh, it's a pretty easy uh, give and go then. Guys, we're listening to a lot more Daft Punk now. Surprise. Surprise. Big old goon, thank you so much for the prime. I appreciate the 11 months, dude. Thank you for supporting the stream. Looking forward to that gold and bacon coming up next month. Thank you for the gifted subs, dude. That's great. The 25. Contra King, thank you so much for the three months, the prime. I appreciate you supporting the stream. 25 gifted subs. Big time, Wally. I, I appreciate it. Thank you so much for supporting the stream with kindness. We got some loans to get done today. Yeah, today we've got... Uh, well, I mean, we have our job application out at RB Leipzig, which would be an excellent upward move. <laughs> but I would be surprised if they gave us the job. Do I believe Bafana Bafana can do it? Yeah, but they're definitely the underdog. Morocco and Senegal, I said, the two best teams coming into the tournament. So, I mean, they should get knocked out in the same round. Senegal got knocked out yesterday. Should be knocked out in the same round. But yeah, we've applied to RB Leipzig, but I uh, like if we're staying at St. Etienne, should be able to build a team that's able to uh, able to compete at least mid-table, probably top half. We're going to have to do it quick. We have to show off our agility, our dexterity in actually putting the team together. How do I far re how far do I reckon Congo can go? Well, I do do a lot of reckoning. I I often sit there and twiddle my thumbs and reckon a little bit. I reckon here, I reckon there, I reckon everywhere. What do I reckon? 
Now, what do I, what do I reckon? I reckon, I mean, dear, well, dear Congo's draw. What's dear Congo's draw? Let's get that pulled up right quick. Um, DR Congo's draw would be like just looking at the AFCON bracket, okay? The Dr. Con oh, they've got Guinea. Oh, they absolutely are. They can you can get to the semifinals. DR Congo might be like the betting favorite over Guinea. Not even not even joking. Like you look at that, then it's Ivory Coast against Mali or Burkina Faso. Ivory Coast is not you know, that good, right? They won a penalty shootout over Senegal after getting a penalty late in the match to equalize after losing to Equatorial Guinea 4-0. Do you look, DR Congo, if it plays its best, could be looking at a final in AFCON. I mean, like, really, really could, right? You, you prob I'm guessing this is probably Mali Ivory Coast, but it's hard to bet against Burkina Faso at AFCON. They're so freaking good. But, like, if you really... Like, if DR Congo plays their best, they can totally get to the final. And then once you get to the final, who freaking knows? It's Nigeria, Angola, Cape Verde, and then Morocco or South Africa. It's not like there's a prohibitive team left. Like, Senegal and Morocco are the two teams that I'm like, you're just probably going to lose if you play against them and you're not up to snuff. But DR Congo's knocked out Egypt already, so. Burkina Faso against Mali is a battle for the finalists. Honestly, there's a good chance that's the case because Ivory Coast knocked off the the best team on this half, right? So, it, look, how far, what do I reckon DR Congo could do? I reckon that they're looking at the way the bracket is shaking out right now, and they're like, well, we just beat Egypt. Senegal's gone. There's no other, like, you know, there, there, there's no World Cup team on this half of the bracket from Africa. None. Ivory Coast didn't make it. Mali Burkina Faso didn't make it. DR Congo Guinea didn't make it. In fact, the only World Cup team left in the tournament right now is Nigeria. Do you know how insane that is? One. There is one team that made the World Cup left that is in the quarterfinal. Obviously, if Morocco beats South Africa, then there would be two. They haven't, they're not in the quarterfinal yet. In the quarterfinal, six of the eight teams already locked, right? Even from this pairing, you're not going to get any World Cup teams, right? Morocco wins. There are two World Cup teams from Africa left. Two. One is left in the quarterfinal. Or like one is in the quarterfinal. There are five quarterfinal teams that did not go to the World Cup. And most of the World Cup teams are already out. <laughs> Three World Cup teams have been eliminated, yes, with Senegal's loss. Cameroon got bumped. Tunisia got bumped. Senegal, bu uh, Senegal got bumped. Three of the World Cup teams from Africa. Yay! And Algeria, just for good measure. And Ghana, who were also at the World Cup. Oh, wait, Nigeria, dude, wait, 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 chat. Who didn't catch me on this? Nobody caught me on this? Nigeria didn't go to the World Cup. Guys, for the first time since 1990, I think it was 1994, Nigeria was not at the last World Cup. There is one team from the World Cup in Africa left in the tournament after Senegal's loss yesterday. Just one. That's so crazy. I mean, obviously, Nigeria is consistently, historically, the best team in Africa over the last 20 years. But they did not make the last World Cup. There is only one World Cup team from Africa left. Only one. Congo didn't win a single match, but they reached the quarterfinal. Do they they drew all three of their uh group stage matches? I mean, that's the Portugal dream, isn't it? 
That's like that is the that's the Portugal dream. So DR Congo drew all three matches against Zambia, Tanzania, and Morocco, which baller move. Absolutely baller move. That draw, by the way, with DR Congo, like those the, the draw and the loss here for Zambia or what got Ivory Coast into the knockouts in the first place and allowed them to get to the quarterfinal. So metagaming from DR Congo to try and set up an easier draw from themselves here. I mean, five, you know, five level chess here from DR Congo trying to get Ivory Coast in a team that was just good enough to beat Senegal, but is very beatable, even though they're the host of the tournament. They, they, they pulled the draw off on purpose to get Ivory Coast in to the knockouts. Just perfect. And DR Congo is in the quarterfinal with four consecutive draws. I mean, look, we have decided a way that the sport works where that is possible. And DR Congo plays against Guinea for a spot in the AFCON semifinals. There is one World Cup team from Africa left. It's Morocco. They play South Bafana Bafana today. And uh, Shabalala is about to kick the door down. You started earlier today. I actually just started way closer to the time that I have on this schedule is the time that I'm supposed to start. Now your update on Asian Cup as well. There is a huge match going on right now. Saudi Arabia in South Korea. Can South Korea end one of the weirdest streaks? One of the weirdest streaks in like international football which is that South Korea hasn't won an Asian Cup since 1960, since the second ever Asian Cup. They have not won since. They've been to the final like six times. They have not won it. They play Saudi Arabia in the round of 16, which is a hilariously brutal draw. And if they, uh, if you win, then you play against Australia, which is obviously not easy as well. But the early match, the reason for my title, Uzbekistan with the 2-1 win over the War Elephants of Thailand to get to the quarterfinal of the Asian Cup. They will play Qatar, who is hosting the tournament, who were able to beat Palestine 2-1. Uzbekistan supremacy, the White Wolves, continue to be a good team in Asia. They will make a World Cup, if not this one, then the next one. I believe, I always believe in Uzbekistan. I freaking believe. And that does mean you if somebody as somebody correctly points out the tournament of the stands. We have two stands in the quarterfinals. Tajikistan against Jordan, Uzbekistan against Qatar. Bra you know, th it's what it's all about. Stand supremacy. We stand stand supremacy in general. Have I recovered from yesterday? The construction of a bottle factory. Uh, no. I went to sleep thinking about it. And I was like, well. No, I, I, I didn't know. I didn't know what happened. Football manager destroys lives. Yeah, I just rolled around restlessly last night. Thinking about this freaking table. Just zooming in on this table. Oh, heavens. Oh, good heavens. It may help you if you win it on a second attempt, but I can't. We got promoted. There's no, there, there's no second chance at winning the second French division. You know, like there, there's, no, you were not going to take over another team in the French second division and be like, ah, time to win it. We fumbled the bag. There is, you can drop again. Just get relegated again. Nice. Saudi Arabia has just hit the bar twice in the same attack. What's going on, South Korea? South Korea, you're supposed to be the big bad kid on the block in Asia all the time. What are you doing? What are you doing, South Korea? I really, I actually hope either team wins this. Saudi Arabia, South Korea will get a really good quarterfinal. 
I hope Japan and Iran win. I mean, I normally am rooting for underdogs, right? But if Japan and Iran win, then we have a Japan-Iran quarterfinal next to Qatar, Uzbekistan. And then we'd have Tajikistan, Jordan against Australia and another good team. Like, it would be one, each quarter, you know, we'd probably end up with a, the, the two finalists would come from those two ties. But we'd end up with, like, good, really competitive top-level Asian competition against, like, where the hell did you come from? The hell are you doing here? That doesn't make any sense at all. Klinsman's not. Yeah, they hired the wrong Jurgen. Jurgen Klinsman, for those that don't know, is the coach of South Korea. Just if you if you didn't know that, Jurgen Klinsman is the coach of South Korea. It's going to be a full stand final. Uzbekistan, Tajikistan for Asian supremacy. That would be so fun. I think Uzbekistan's race is run, though. It was probably a Royal FMing. It was. Also, Mike, by the way. Mike. Mike. Wow. Mike. Somebody pointed this out, but freaking Mike just became a Discord VIP. Mike. I I I, I wanted you to know I, I saw that. Redeemed the very large. Yeah, Mike check. <clears throat> one two loans no that's not that's not what we're here for today mike mike became a discord vip redeemed a bucketed channel points to have all time access to the subscriber section of the discord congratulations to mike mike <laughs> well done mike that's some very excellent channel point collecting from Mike there. Is now a Discord VIP. I'm getting kicked out for the Discord. You just have to verify that you're not a... Um, this might be difficult for you because you are clearly a robot, but you just have to verify that you are not a robot. All right. Um, I, I'm going to make you a Discord VIP right now. I just have to. Uh, I just have to find you in the Discord. Hold on. All righty, Mike. Where's the VIP? There it is. You're a VIP, Mike. Your color's been changed. You're there. He's VIPed. He's been VIPed. I believe is the appropriate tense there. He's been VIPited. Carl Lasky, they give you the 10 months. Atars, they give you the eight months. The anime wows are flying. All right, we have our job application out to RB Leipzig. We're waiting on that. We're selling Mamadou Koulibaly. We're trying to sign LAX more, but we might be staying. There aren't, you know, this hasn't been a great job cycle. But while we're while we're sorting through where we might want to go, Bournemouth just got relegated to the championship. And I mean, I have look, I am a promotion maestro. Do we want to do it again? I am a promotion maestro. Do we want to do we want to take the cherries and take no, why would I leave League All to go coach the championship? That I just hate myself at that point. I just I'm like that that's self-loathing. I'd need to go to therapy. Leaving League All to just go to the championship and be like, up, oh, we're going back up. That's my niche. We just get teams promoted and we're like, ah, I'm out. I uh, that would suck. Yeah, the, the championship's miserable. It's like eighty-seven million matches, uber competitive. Could we do it? Probably. I mean, Bournemouth got relegated by a point, but what are we doing, Connell? Thank you for the twenty-three months. What are we? What are we? What are we, what are we doing? We'll try and go to freaking Bournemouth, drag him back up. We're in league all. We are in a top five league. We would only take a job with a, you know, a, a bigger club than than where we're at. I'm a three and a half star. I mean, this Bournemouth is technically a bigger club, which is annoying that I said that. This guy's our top wonder kid, I guess. Already Losamba. 
News to me, brother. I, I'm not, yeah, I'm not doing that. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. But are we? <laughs> the Ghana job's open. The Senegal job is open. World ranking plummeting for Senegal. Still have good players. They were having breakdowns after that penalty shootout loss. They were having breakdowns in the stands after that. And on the field. There was the one guy. Let me see if I actually, I might actually have that. There was the one guy they needed to carry off the field. Where is he? Oh, yeah. Lamine, uh, Lamine Kamara had to be carried off the field. He was so distraught. Like, he could not keep, like, this. AFCON, the, the emotions are so high. Like, the guy literally had to pick him up and carry him off the field. He's not hurt. He was just too distraught to, like, walk back. After the penalty, she's not even the guy that missed. Not, like, not that the guy that missed should feel worse, but, like, you know, he kind of should. Like, what was he doing? But so distraught. Any international job for the Euros? Uh, no, there's not. I was, I was uh, looking... But there's nobody we could take over and manage just for the Euros the same way that we did a ye old World Cup with Ghana, which was fun. You know, we got the knockouts, and uh, we're proud of that. I think I should take a Hong Kong. Oh, did the Hong Kong national teams open? I mean, opportunity abound. Wadford just got sent down to League One, so somebody, somebody fire the cannons there. Friggin' Coventry getting promoted through the playoffs so they can steal my player. But what transfer news has been breaking that I haven't heard about, chat? Is Copa America going to be going too? Yeah, football manager usually puts it on the same cycle as uh, the Euros. I just don't have anybody playing in it, so I didn't get any emails about it. We have two guys on Euros rosters, though. But what? Yeah, Moise Keane's failed medical going back to Juve. Was he? He was going. Was it like Monaco? I I I have notifications on for Fabrizio Romano, but at times like this, it's impossible to keep up with what that man is talking about. Gio to Fiorentina. I heard that Gio Reyna's deal with um, Nottingham Forest was falling through. It's a shame because I actually I thought that wouldn't be the worst move in the world to have Gio Reyna go play at Nottingham Forest, but. Apparently, it is the worst move in the world. Whatever. Not that I cared. Not that I cared. Havertz is apparently on 275k a week. So is Rashford. I found that out because he had all of his money taken away. So is Rashford. Because he just lost it. Yeah, well, you know, tequila, tequila will do that to you, man. Tequila will do that to you. Sender Berga. Yeah, see, I told you he wasn't that good compared to our team. You're over here putting him as a full four-star player like an idiot. Like, what are you doing? Ah, Mandela. Nice. Gio played for us 30 minutes last Sunday. He should stay. Yeah, but he just wants to be a starting player. I can't really blame him. He's like 20 years old now. It's it's time to really start getting that kind of consideration. They're saying Conte might be coach of Milan at the end of the year. AC, like they're getting rid of Pioli. Dang it, man. Are they going to get rid of Stefano Pioli at AC Milan? He's the guy that's giving Pulisic his like bounce back season. Please, no. Do not make that happen to Pulisic again. The, the poor guy is just getting going. The poor guy finally found a little consistency in his life, and he's like, oh, this is quite wonderful. And then you parachute in, and you tell him that his manager's changed. You know that manager that loves you? Yeah. Hyde and I are tearing it up in the Bundesliga. I mean, I made that video called uh, the German Lutentown about Heidenheim. 
that coach is legit that like he is such a good coach so incredibly good it you know every level that they go up to everybody's always like oh this is probably the level they're gonna settle at i would not count hyden i'm out of being able to accomplish literally anything I am full bore. Eidnheim is great. Musa Diara, also great. Has no interest in a transfer because he just moved to Partizan. But the, the moment, the moment that that opportunity is back for us to make a move for him, I'm there. Because we need a left back. We need a left back and a goalkeeper if we're not getting that Leipzig job. We're going to be at St. Etienne in Ligue 1. Ligue 1. Be sure to say that before you put the card down, okay? How's Conte even in the discussion for top teams after his Spurs stint? I, I think managers are often remembered for their best and not their worst. Managers are usually able to get a lot of jobs because what you're able to do is look at, well, look what happens when things are going well for me, you know? <laughs> not like, oh, well, in this situation, you know, they, they didn't listen to my recruitment strategy and this and that, but like when things are going well for me, you know, this is what this is what I'm capable of. I feel like that's how that conversation goes, which is why, which is why it's uh, which which is why managers are usually able to live off like a good performance for a while. Even you know, you have to drop a couple of duds in a row to lose your ability to to to, to be hired as a manager. You have to drop a couple of just fat duds. Really, this guy plays in Mexico. I find that hard to believe that he he would not want to come play for us. He plays in Mexico. I don't think the game considers us in league all yet. I know that is a perpetual problem with getting promoted and that I, I'm going to need to wait. I don't want to wait, but I'm going to need to wait until the game has us in league all. And it's like, oh, we're, it's a league on team that's interested in me. Fascinating. But I, I don't want to have to wait. Are any keepers still on the team? Yes, we do have one who's solid. So we're not like up a creek without a paddle. We did make one signing of a goalkeeper who is Dees. But we we signed him as like a backup. He's on a backup playing time. So what we want is to get a goalkeeper that can come in and then be a starter. Now, the season had ticked over. It's usually like two weeks from now. So it's June 10th. Uh, it's usually like the 23rd that it'll take over for for winter leagues and then it'll be like ah yes all right jorge souza that is a studly winger brilliant out and out winger creative positions very good goal scorer for for his skill set usually you're not going to see guys that are able to score goals like this is a release clause of 45. I mean, I, uh, you know, tripping, falling over myself. Juan Manuel Baselli, this guy, is on Quavilli Rouen. He's also not good. I feel like those two things kind of run in tandem real quick. Um, a lot of previously scouted. So he's been placed in the transfer list. He is a right back. He is a French right back who might be a very sound backup pickup. I'm not going to throw him on the, like, target list, but I, I like him. Othman Boussaid, 16 million. That's some serious cash, dude. Balls X Stefan got set for release. Second division goalkeeper of the year. What, what say you? Only if we're desperate. <laughs> only in only in moment only in a moment of desperation would we would we want to do that. Only in a moment of desperation. Now that is a very good. I can only find good midfielders. It's it's crazy how I can I can only find good midfielders. That's it. Only players that I could possibly get. I'm gonna build an entire team of midfielders. Don't tempt me with a good time. I mean, I will potential end of contract. I, I don't think so. I think he just renewed his contract, actually. Fun story. Well, we'll scout him again so that you you get it right. But so oh, there's the athleticism. Farid Alpha. 
Ruprecht. Ruprecht. Okay. I am all down for free signings. I am so down for free signings. That's where it's at. I'm going to play a 4-6-0, dude. I'm going to go back to our Florida's door for formation, just play a ton of midfielders. Just be like, ah, yes. We only have midfielders on this team. Okay, 17-20 pace. This guy's a little speedy. Usman Bakari. He's got the, the Zoomies. J. Roy Jornel Grot of Japan, obviously. Like, what were you thinking? Um, very strong, great jumping reach, an incredible distaste for big matches that uh, gives me a bad taste in my mouth. Bad work rate, doesn't like big matches. Not the type of player I want to have around my team. We have uh, Warren Bondo from Amien, who plays Metsala. He plays both wingers. He offers incredible versatility. I'm thinking this guy is target acquired we want to make moves on warren bondo free at the end of the year i mean come on guy offers uh, a lot to his game good mentality it's a bit of a mentality monster very mentally tough as well uh good finishing good dribbling good passing good athlete good strength not short plays one twos bit weak with his left foot uh which is a bit of a downside but this guy fits all over the team Warren Bondo even plays good defense, plays very good defense for a guy in his positions. Open play key passes per 90. He was first in the entirety of League 2. You know how crazy that is? Kripafi, thank you so much for the prime, brother. And Rocket, thank you for the 11 months. Thank you for supporting the stream. Sauce here, thank you for the four months. Heroic Bear, thank you so much for the tier one. The name's Bondo. <clears throat> Sorry, hold on. The name's Bondo. Warren Bondo. Thank you. Uh -uh. So, thinking maybe we just swoop in for 24-year-old Warren Bondo and bring it. He had the fifth best average rating in League 2. That's really, really nice. Uh, I should have freaking asked, bro. I should have freaking asked. Yeah, we're going up to League on. Do you know that in game? No, you clearly don't. You would rather stay in the second division than come play for us, dude. That doesn't make any sense to me. Okay, he's like, yeah, you said I'll be an important player next year. He won't. He'll acknowledge that he shouldn't be an important player relative to League on standards. But it allows us to get him on the team. I'm willing to take that bet based off my ball knowledge. Huh? What's the status of the New Zealandism channel? We're going to start posting videos on it in the next couple days. Thank you for the thousand bits, Wally. It's basically going to be our, you know, the Zealand channel. We want to have, you know, a certain standard of editing that you know you can expect when you tune into a Zealand channel video. But the Zealandism channel is going to be like basically daily videos and kind of like what we talk about in the early part of the stream. Just, you know, the fur the, the, the trial Zealandism video is basically about, you know, like AFCON. And just the insanity of AFCON. It's uh, it's my mogul mail channel. Like, if you know who Ludwig is or if you know who, like, Moist Critical is, just doing that type of channel where you're able to just talk about what everybody's talking about and just have a conversation about it and make something entertaining that people can watch every day. That's like a lower editing threshold so that we can get, you know, a video or multiple videos out every day. Um, does that mean we'll sign new editors? Oh, it's, we've already, we already have shifted the team around where we have, we have the editors in place. We have the editors in place, although I appreciate your editorial concern. All right. I do need to pull up the actual freaking scores. So halftime, Saudi Arabia, South Korea's nil, nil, uh, Mali, Burkina Faso just kicked off. It's an AFCON Asian cup. Double feature stream. It's going down. More editors, you say. <gasps> we're expanding the basement. Yeah, we're building some tunnels in. Augustine Gay. Ah, so he's got that foreign spot going. Also, for determination. I'm big on determination this year. 
I'm going to be, I'm going to be, I'm going to be, I'm going to be, I'm going to be straight up with you. <laughs> kind of big on determination this year. There's no way they want $25 million for Wilson Odobear. Although I do love him. Like, and the reason specifically that I'm upset that they want $25.5 million is because I want this guy on my team. I'm like, I will literally pay you $10 million for Wilson Odobear. So please engage with that. This guy is so good. He's still on Flamingo, and I am furious about it. Paulo Enrique, as long as he's on Flamingo, is a guy we should sign. What a player. What a box-to-box -box midfielder with the flair, the athleticism, the defense, the offense, the ball carrying, like, holy, holy regista, you know? Yo, Milson 2.0, he don't want me like that. He don't want me, man. How come he don't? Molly scored? Third minute goal for Molly. Wow. I mean, look, normally I'm rooting for Burkina Faso, but I really think Molly can win the entire tournament. This tournament is blowing wide open. I really think Molly could win the whole thing. They've never even made it to the World Cup. They're the best team, in my opinion, that's never made the World Cup. Burkina Faso has been to consecutive final fours at AFCON. They've made the last two semifinals. They are no joke, but I, you know, and, and normally I am all for it, but Molly getting the early lead. <laughs> Let's friggin' go. Yeah. Own goal on Edmund Tapsoba too. Who's like Burkina Faso's anchor at the back. Messiah Shibayama. Shibayama got a long-term injury. Well, I'm looking for a long-term investment, bro. What's up? Name Zealand. <laughs> What's up? Name is Zealand. Looking for a long-term investment, brother. Burkina Faso or Africa's Uzbekistan. I've never heard a truer statement in my life. It's a crazy own goal. For real. Uh, I've got uh, Saudi Arabia, South Korea up on my other monitor. But I, I don't have... Um, Molly Burkina Faso up. You said Saudi goal. Oh, I'm about to watch it then. Oh, nice touch. That was just really direct, really straightforward. The crowd's going nuts. Those Saudi fans, they, they yeah, they, they've, Saudi's got, they, Saudi, they've got great fans. That's right off the drop, dude. Right off the drop of the second half, right through South Korea. Jurgen Klinsmann absolutely mudded. Jurgen, what are you doing? Absolutely mudded. Saudi Arabia won South Korea nil. Saudi Arabia, you know, if they win the uh, if they win the Asian Cup, Saudi Arabia is really going to be going nuts on this. Like, obviously, they spent billions of dollars to try and inflate their league, which I don't I don't necessarily think that works. I think what's more important for Saudi Arabia is like growth, like in terms of their national team or like. In terms of them becoming a football power is their national team just being better. I think they have a lot more confidence than they've had recently after that World Cup performance, after the league got better. Dude, South Korea. Man, you gotta, like, you gotta win an Asian Cup eventually or else you're just always the bridesmaid, you know? South Korea's been the bridesmaid since 18, 18, 1960. They have not won an Asian Cup since 1960. Saudi Arabia's won, like, four since then. And South Korea is coming off a great World Cup as well. They made the freaking knockout. Saudi Arabia didn't do that. But Saudi Arabia just cannot. Or, sorry, South Korea can just, they, they just can't. They can't do it. They cannot do it. Thoughts on the Iraq game? Still feel bad for Iraq, but absolutely unbelievable. Like, if you have not watched the... If you have not watched the extended highlights of Iraq v. Jordan, Jordan scoring two goals in the final three minutes to go from behind 2-1 to winning 3-2, it's insane. I mean, the drama of that match is what these tournaments are all about. That's like a type of match that you're just going to be 20 years from now. I'm going to be like, dude, you remember that guy got sent off for celebrating? Like, I'm going to hear somebody mention the country of Jordan, and that's like what you're going to think of. Like, it's the if you're Jordanian and if you're Iraqi, unfortunately – the sort of thing you literally never forget what the sport is all about scoring two goals in the last three minutes to turn a loss into a win after a crazy red card where you feel super hard done like just ridiculous
Wally, thank you for gifting a sub, dude. I appreciate it. Thank you for making somebody's day. Southern beats Brazil, Germany, 2014. Exactly. Like, I remember exactly where I was when that happened. And these major international tournaments, you know, your continental tournament really is, you know, they, they, those create memories that last a lifetime. I mean, I showed you guys the DR Congo celebrating after they knocked out Egypt. Like, this, how much it means to all of these countries, to Tajikistan, to Jordan, right? To Iraq as well, to like to all the teams that are loot to Senegal and the guy that has to be carried off the field, right? The Ivory Coast, where they think their team is terrible and everybody kind of acknowledges their team's nowhere what it used to be, but they're still in the quarterfinal. They're still believing that they can pull off a miraculous win somehow. Ty Salinga, yeah, I'm aware. He might be he might be the striker we get. It's so cool. Ivan Alves is my no, we we saw it yesterday. So Ivan Alves, because Knock Breda got relegated, it's 24 to 34 million. That would be our entire transfer budget that we have left, though. So we're still not super into the idea. Uh, Miguel de la Fuente doesn't have balance or jumping reach, but he has literally everything else. I mean, what an interesting player. From Fama de Sao, I, I, I think, actually, I'm going to go on to target acquired. He would be a very fun pressing forward to add. He has either footedness, great mentality, and a low relegation release clause. Oh, Fama de Cal got relegated. Oh, they're in the second division of freaking Portugal. That, that should be cookies once we're, like, up. Once we are officially a league all side, you know? That's That's nice. Yeros Racic, Andrew Pereira. Yeah, sorry, bud. Just not feeling it. Miguel Amadio. Oh, that's the uh, deep lying forward. I see the vision now. This dude plays right wing. Not with 11 pace, he doesn't. Not with 11 pace. When does the league officially tick over? For like 13, 14 days from now. We just got hit with our scouting center, which I'm funneling all of our scouting reports to the scouting center, which I'm actually liking because then we just sit down and like scout for 10 minutes or, you know, then you kind of like you, you don't go back and forth between scouting and other stuff. Uh, more. Very focused, like one and then the other. Nelson Deos, uh, we'll put you into contract there brother john mina not prepared to sell mid-season well i'm not prepared to buy <laughs> antonio then vic no christian caceres caceres rashid kuda sufian azaji Cesare Cassidy. Dude, this guy used to be a real hyped up player, but now he's just vibing. So did we float another offer we did to Wilson Odebear? Oh, and Warren Bondo. We gave a contract offer to Warren Bondo. I think that's a great offer. I, I don't think they're going to take the $10 million for Odebear. I'd be really surprised if they took that. How did RB react to the application? Well, they haven't rejected it instantly, so that's huge. St. Etienne faced pressure to round out the Warren Bondo offer. I mean, look, we're going up, okay? So somebody, you know, somebody let this guy know that we're going to be in league all next year so that it, it counts, that it's okay. Oh, I, was, I thought that was RB Leipzig accepting our, uh, you know, oh, my God. Oh my, oh my God. No, 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 no. Why are so many players, that's why so many, why, 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 why are so many, uh, why, why, um, why, why? I am going to monetarily increase my offer, Mr. Warren Bondo. I will give you 12 million for this guy. Okay, goodness gracious. You're like 25 million or bust. They want 
Eli Eakes Moriba wants star player in seven to ten million. Man, his his financial demands are so crazy, you know. I'll tell you what, dude. Relegation release clause, zero dollars. We've just got to drive down how much money you're asking for. All right. Oh, holy smokes. With a zero dollar relegation release clause, that is insane. I don't even think I would take this. I'm just trying to see if he'll accept it. And he won't, so it doesn't matter. He, dude, he he's like, I'm all for somebody getting the bag, but in terms of him becoming the best that he could be, Elaix Moraba has completely messed up his career by how much money him and his agent demand. Like, yo, that is some cash. We're going bankrupt, boys. No, I, I need to just stop negotiating. I need to not make any more offers until the league turns over. Once we're in league, all we should have the opportunity to uh, to do some more fun stuff. So Felonius is on the move. Jed Wallace is just, you know, he retired while he was on my short list. Dang it, Kevin and Babu is maybe alone. I mean, I'm, I'm fine with alone as long as you cover his whole wage. He's not getting paid that much. You don't need to negotiate a contract with him longer than a year. We just, you know, we don't want to pay his wage this year. We don't want him to be around the team this year. He's not a problem. He like he just isn't going to play at all. He's not at the level that we need. So Lorenzo Sage is now able to play defensive midfield. That is wonderful. It's tremendous news. Um, let's just keep working him at it then. Evan Gasson has played an important number of matches for us. Yes, he had a very good year. By far the best striker on our team. We're going to get somebody better, though. It's like actually on our team. I, is he being released, though? We should look at that at the end of the season. He might be about to get released. If he's about to get released, maybe we talk about a, a quick little signing. Steiner, thank you for the gifted sub, dude. Thanks for supporting the stream with kindness, giving somebody the ad-free experience. You're freaking kidding me. I, did I already know Luis Torres' uh, potential ability was that? Whatever. He's a good league on player. Very talented. Our starting number 10 going into the next season. Luis Torres, 20-year-old Mexican international. I didn't know his potential was, was down bad, but he's no Luke Edwards. Nobody is, really, but he's no Luke Edwards. Steiner, thank you for gifting us up. Blood Joey, be sure to say thank you. If you happen to be around. Painters, thank you for the five months. Also, I appreciate you supporting the stream, dude. Best fm -er ever? Hell yeah. Keep it up, bro. I will do my best. Give me a sandwich. Thank you for the 14 months. Oh, just seven days time. Ah, uh, they're going to be announced on the 19th. Okay, sweet. So the league turnover is a little earlier than I thought previously, which is excellent news. Let's go, boys. Let's get us a good schedule this year. No PSG match day one, please. Aaron Ramsey's getting the uh, the offers. Yeah, true. Andre Clemenko, dude. The awesome right back who's playing in uh, Saudi Arabia. PSG's like, ah, uh, 25 million. Please and thank you, Andre Clemenko. Hugo Bolin made a move. I never really liked Hugo Bolin anyways. I'm just going to stop getting updates about him. Freaking PSG, you freaking Paris Saint Germans. Huh. Am I staying at Saint at the end? I uh, probably <laughs> Leipzig just uh Leipzig just dumpstered our application for their job, so probably I would have been surprised if we got it. Doesn't mean I'm not sad that they came back and told me uh Told me that's what was up. Uh, so he is available for loan. He's on the transfer list. Anybody uh, and everybody out there for Kevin Mbabu? Just like, you know, we're just finding a move. We're finding a move. We're finding a groove. I know somebody's going to want Kevin Mbabu and his experience. Maybe another team in the second French league, team in the Swiss league. Someone somewhere. Tomas Silva, Yuvan Yochin, Saint Etienne could part company with Alain Diallo. 
mean, I don't want to. Guy's got he's got skills. He's a competent legal player. But I'm comfortable entering the last year of his contract. So Moriba's decided to stay with RB Leipzig. How's that been working out for you? They just sent you on loan to friggin' Czech Republic, and you're like, ah, I don't want to go play in, in France. That seems, you know, that just doesn't seem fun. Did we win the league? Yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah, we won the league. That's what happened. We won the league. We'll be. <clears throat> yep. Yep. Crazy how we won that league. So, uh, so he was so comfortable, really. We won the league. Uh, it was great. So it's still 1 0 Saudi Arabia over South Korea, 1 0 Mali over Burkina Faso, Asian Cup and AFCON knockouts. Absolute dream right now. I'm a bit lost to scouting. I'm always getting max five recommendations, sometimes zero. How, how do you get so many recommendations? Well, one, I get recommended the same players because I don't have the thing off where, um, like, there's a thing you can turn off where you don't get the same players recommended to you again. Um, you need better scouts, and you also need to lower the threshold of the players you're looking for. All right, this guy... Really wish he knew how to play striker because that would be sick because he's really good. Zora, oh my dude, you had to just go not like big matches, didn't you? You freaking loser. What are, you, what are we doing here, man? Zoran Alilovic doesn't like big matches, is inconsistent. Other than that, great player. Oh. Just, oh. Hopefully South Korea's out so Son is back to Spurs earlier. Well, I got some good news for you, dude. They're 30 minutes away from once again failing to win the Asian Cup. A remarkable South Korean tradition. Oh, uh oh. Vasilenko now speaks fluent French. That's sick, dude. It's nice work. That was fast. Vladan Kovacevic. Ooh. The keeper from Slavia Prague, if he's, like, actually good, that would be really helpful because he'd be definitely cheap enough for us to make that work. Uh, you are not good enough for us. Ivan Alves. Yeah, I know. Afshan Sultani. Yeah, we like Afshan Sultani. Scroll down, think of all the tabs uh, there, but instead I have to click his name. Oh, Twitch layout. I was like, what are you talking about? Just joining. Does Elon have any interviews? Or are we staying at St. Etienne? Well, we got uh, rejected by, um, you know, stunningly got rejected by RB Leipzig, who are in Europe. So they were like, no, we don't want to interview. So, no, I mean, there's not a lot of great jobs that have opened up uh, yet or really at the end of the season. There, there weren't the same quality of jobs that opened up even last year. Uh, we're waiting. Maybe a big South American team is is looking for a midseason hire, and then in which case we'd make the move. I think that you know, with our better license and our higher reputation now, that we would be able to um, we'd be able to at least get one of the major South American jobs. You know, I know you never know. Apparently, it's very very difficult with the jumping in between continents, but we've cemented our reputation. Three and a half stars were no joke. Dang it, Jesper Hertog. If he had 18 pace instead of 18 natural fitness, I would be all over that. I would say, yes, you would be the real deal. Hi, Rodada. Gonzalo Avila. Uh, we finished Augustine Alvarez, and he is... Not good. He's he's actually worse than Gasson, who was you know playing for us last year. So I am happy with the amount of uh, scouting that my scouts have been able to get done. They're definitely working overtime in the window, but 
don't think we're going to be signing a guy from Wrexham. Wesley. That's fine. Charles. An apt defensive midfielder. Charles. There we go. A little agent recommendation. Martin Miranda. Alilovic. Yep, just found him. Such a shame because he's actually quite good. Well, there's the other Alvarez. Gaston Alvarez. Ball winning uh, midfielder, left back, center back from Hitafe. We need to we need to refine that. We need to refine that. Looks like he could be a good player. Excited. Give Rodier number 12. Why? What is the argument behind that? You think Mancini will be a success to the Saudi national team? Yeah. I think the, the better thing that's like if Saudi Arabia is like, we want to grow the game and we want to become a power, invest in development of young players in the national team. Because the better the national team does, I can attest to this for the United States, the better the national team does, the more the sport becomes a part of the culture the more the sport becomes valued so this guy hates big matches but he is so fast joel and dala like the women's national team really did it first for the u.s and then it was the men's national team making a couple of world cup knockouts the last couple times you've been to the world cup that you know, when the last World Cup came around, everybody was watching. Everybody's paying attention. And then, like, the sport, you know, it grows naturally that way. Number, number 12 is for the fans. Ah. So, Maxime Rodier would get the number, you know, for the fans. Because Maxime Rodier is, is for the streets. Papagay. Uh, yeah. Composure, concentration, double whammy kind of sucks, though. You better have a second uh, nationality, dude. Syrian. Doesn't help in this instance. Um, although, although surprising, still useless for me. You are not EU. Argentina's junior. Diego. Uh, yeah, Contract runs out at the end of the year. Zakaria Abuklal. It's not great, actually. And way, way, way too expensive. Uh, hates big matches. Giuseppe Casso. I think we might have just found a guy. Obviously, my staff agrees. He's unhappy. He's cheap. He's extremely interested in playing for us. He's asking to leave Frosinone. He's got excellent ball control. Uh, good movement. Good athlete. Not great, but he's a natural on both wings with the ability to cross the ball. He's not a great goal scorer, so we're looking at a winger, inverted winger type guy but he is 100 percent on target acquired giuseppe casso to help us out with uh our wing play this next season didn't felinius already got an offer jakob brun larson so that, that's good we just find it we found a guy make it short he's bought now i'm waiting to the 19th dude we only gotta wait two days i'm waiting to the freaking 19th we're letting the league turn over so that we can get a better financial deal in all these situations so we finished our scouting report on Cabello Mokowena uh, of, of South Africa. He definitely wants to move. The only issue with him is that he only wants to get regular starter playing time. So an offer after the break might be the smartest thing for us. An offer after the, after the break. By that, I mean, like, when the league turns over. <laughs> Whoa! Now, what the hell is that all about? You know, he's got all his speed. He's got all the balance, the agility. I mean, your man can fly. He's got all the dribbling. He's impossible to keep in front, and he can't do anything when he gets there. That's absurd. What an interesting little player Matthew Mullen is. He is a dribbly, dribbly boy, isn't he? Abraham Del Moral. We are in the market for uh, a center back, you know, a new star center back, but the eight strength monster turnoff there. 
Adrian De La Fuente, we finished that report up, but he is a ball player with 11 jumping reach. And at that price, I'm just not, I'm not there right now. Bryn Worrell, it's actually quite good. My goodness, I love, this guy's great. It's a little expensive, so we're not going to put him on the target acquired list right now, but the height, the speed, the tackling, the teamwork, the, the mindset with that determination. He's professional. Mahmoud God. Oh, only Egypt, dude. Keep an eye on him and Martin Pass. Going to probably need a European there. We need to get to the 19th as well. Season needs to turn over and then we have a few moves we might want to make. Yeah, he's 17 million though, Chad. He's got that pace. It's 6'5", the good jumping reach. It's one of those physical freaks. All of a sudden, England's just churning out physical freaks. They had Matt Mullen. They got Bryn Worrell. We got Bondo. We gave him way more money than we should have needed to, but we got Bondo. Uh, really? Mamadou? Really? Mamadou? Really? Mam Mamadou? Really? Warren Bondo. I really like this kid. I really like this kid. Put up and not, it, you know, we're also like, he, this dude put up numbers in League Two. Eighth in dribbles per 90. Fifth in average rating. Fourth in assists. Second in player of the match awards. First in open play key passes per 90. He can play. You get this guy in the right position, right? And he, he can slot in in multiple spots of the team and everything. This guy can play. When he gets on the field, that resolute mentality, that 15 determination, likes a big match, consistent performances. This guy can play. He's ready to He's ready to go. And we're getting him for free? Dude, I didn't know there was a deal going down for Sammy Suarez. Oh, but he doesn't quite like big matches, so I'm not super upset that Auger was the team that swooped in and bought him. That's a good get for us. Good get for us. Warren Bondo. When's the transfer go through? The first? Okay. League do a signings the season. Branko Vandenbauman. Couldn't agree more, honestly. What a season for Branko Vandenbauman. They put Alvaro Rodriguez on this list. What a joke. What an absolute joke of a list. All right, let's get into legal. Let's do it, baby. League all time. So I'm talking about. How'd the season end? With nothing but happiness. That's we we ended happy. It was a very happy end to the season where ponies and unicorns ran around the field holding hands together. The season ended great and we loved it. Ligon. Uber Eats. All right. We are officially back in Ligon, up the St. Etienne. Last time we got promoted, we were up for two years and then went sailing right back down. I believe early season preview, we're projected to finish 11. I mean, yeah, I'm not saying we're building the superstar team here. I'm just saying. Checking on Asian Cup and AFCON. It's 1-0 Saudi Arabia over South Korea. Mali leads Burkina Faso 1-0 right now. South Korea 17 minutes away from elimination. Saudi Arabia with a win would play against the Aussies. Aussie, 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 the Socceroos of Australia in the quarterfinal of the Asian Cup. Mali playing for the right to go against Ivory Coast in the quarterfinal of AFCON against two-time consecutive semifinalists Burkina Faso. So that match is far from over. Jurgen Klinsmann, the fraud. He might get fired from South Korea if they lose round to 16. Because they didn't win their group either. They drew freaking Malaysia in the last match. Uh, South Korea had a little chance. I think they got themselves a corner. They're pushing, but they, you know, Saudi Arabia has been the better team, dude. Saudi Arabia has been the better team. Up to this point. Okay. 
Let's take stock of our team here. Uh, we're moving Mbabu. Are we going to move old Nuno Lima? We may. We may, perhaps. Just a, just a, t just a tad. Uh, okay, we got guys that are lone targets around here. Lucas Dane is going to retire at the end of the season. We've got Mamadou Koulibaly, who we're very excited about moving. We've got Royal Chalewa that are interested in Alvaro Rodriguez. I mean, what's a uh, what's an asking price that he wouldn't hate? Asking price is way above his value. Okay, well, uh, come on, come on, man. What 13.25? Okay. I would take 13 million for Alvaro Rodriguez. Anybody want him? Anybody somebody wants Branko Vandenbaumen? Ah, I'm not I'm not moving Branko. That dude's a lifer, even though he just got here last year. What a player. He's a lifer. This is his club. This is where he was born to play. As far as I'm as far as I'm concerned. This is where he was born to play. All right. Offers. Short list. This should be easier now. We're on a team that's projected to finish 11th. Right. Andre Klemenko is under a bid from freaking uh, freaking PSG. So I guess maybe not. Hi, Paulo. Um, I'm just, I'm just going to give this a shot now that we're a league on team. Would you like to come over to Europe? Just you know, would you? All right, Giuseppe Picasso. Like the mentality, you know. I like the consistency. I like the uh, the you know being a fan of big matches. I like it. I'm digging your vibe, dude. So the real question is: Do we want to get after Miggy De La Fuente or Cabello Mocoena? I want to see what Moko Enna wants now. I'm going to see what Moko Enna wants now. We're going to, we're going to test out his playing time demand now that we are in the top league. Because if we can get, like, rotational player, then I think that's absolutely worth it. He's he's explosive. He puts the ball in the net. He's got a good feel for it. Comes deep to get the ball is stupid. Needs to be trained off. I mean, he needs to be beaten the offside trap, but... We also have a couple of South Africans in the team, so immediate adjustment. I speak South African... <laughs> uh, and so he should easy yeah easy adjustment ask the agent for market interest i already did unfortunately but i did it before we were um in business here so jordy makingo that is the left back now that it yeah well screw you man you're the guy i wanted to sign well now you know it's not happening and i'm sad the Mocoena, Miggy de la Fuente, Tice Delinga, be 7.8 million from Frosinone. Dude's just the most average top league striker of all time. Headers lost. Why is that a good stat? Why is the fact that he's lost the most headers in all of Syria considered a positive? He's third in expected goals for Syria and third in non pin XG for Syria. Maybe it's like the least headers lost. Maybe that's just a, it, it, oh, it's a funny way to word it. All right, let's go to good. And we're going to go ahead and look at wingers just to make sure I'm not forgetting about somebody. Allende, no. Uh, Abdulkader, no. Odo Bear, no, no way somebody's actually paying that. Oh, by 11 clubs. A bunch of Premier League clubs specifically that are looking at Wilson Odobear and they're like, you know, this guy would be pretty good. Yeah, obviously he'd be pretty good. Obviously, we're also not able to freaking sign him. Claudio Machado, 7.75 million for the 20 year old. I mean, he's literally Argentine Lella Mella bad boy. Like, there's just no point. <coughs> His potential's clearly great, though. It's the reason everybody's losing their mind over it. Tw 
25 to 29 million hates big matches. Why on earth would we ever? You know, why on earth would we ever? We've updated the Abdulkader report as well, and they still are insisting that Ahmed Abdulkader is a class player, a cut above. Imre Moore is still available for cheap, and I liked Imre Moore last time. There's been adaptability concerns. All right, Chad, I think, I think I, based off what I've seen and what we know, I think I'm ready. Let me check into contracts real quick, but I think I'm ready to ready to make an offer for that other guy because Joel and Dalla hates big matches. He's a different, he's different gravy, you know, Ruprecht good athlete. Doesn't have that well-rounded game at all. Spec Snyder. This guy, we don't even know how good he is. That's fine. Send a contract, but I think I'm ready to go after that one guy. I'm not really using my words well, but Giuseppe Casso, I think is very legitimately the best option we have here. Did we get turned down by Leipzig? Yes. 2.4 million for 29 year old. Good, you know, natural fitness. He'll be, he'll be at it for the next couple of years. We'll get a good contract out of him. Yeah. I mean, it's it, part of it is the cost, right? We're looking at a transfer budget of 20 million overall, and we've got multiple holes in our team that we want to fill, right? We want an upgrade at one of our center back spots. We need a left back. We need a goalkeeper. We need a striker. We also want to improve our wing play, right? And improving our wing play with Giuseppe Casso, who can play perfectly on either side, leaves us in a very fluid position. I mean, let's see if they're really married to that. They're not. They they literally take even less than what they were asking for before. I'll do like one point seven, and then give them a hundred thousand per league appearance. Oh my God. Whatever, we saved two hundred thousand dollars with that negotiation. That's fine. Yeah, Paulo Enrique, I freaking know, dude. I wish, but I know. I wish, but I know. They didn't change. Oh wait, they uh moved my scouting limit back down to nine. Or was it ten? I didn't know it was a ten. Okay. So we did get our offer accepted for Gabella Mokoena. Uh, please don't. Oh, God. Cabello, dude. I'm in the top flight of France. I don't know who you think you are, but you're not that. Okay? Like, you're not. This is what you have to take. Oh, and he said yes. Didn't expect him to say yes. Okay. Relegation release clause. I'll give you three and a half million. I feel confident that we're gonna be we're gonna be okay. Kyle Charles and I have a friendly relationship as well. I mean, Kyle Charles is at my wedding. You know, it's friggin' we go way back. All right. I, I won all the trophies in South Africa. Kyle and I are gonna be able to figure out a nice deal for this 19-year-old South African Cabela Mokoena. And uh we're gonna get ourselves a very serviceable number two striker. Frick it go, chat! Freaking go! Yeah! Didn't think we were going to be able to get that one done. So happy with that. Really? Really? Freaking Mallorca and Besiktas are getting offers in now as well. This is... Ugh, fine. Give me... Like, look. Just... Uh, I, give me the offer for 2.4. We'll see what, you know, deal we can put together with this guy. All right, we're working against, uh, he has more interest in Mallorca. Oh, cool, we got 20 million for the TV rights. Um, yeah, that's great. That's really great. I'm actually going to make you an important player, though. Um, I am going to not do that, but the other three things I will leave in there, Giuseppe Casso. And Giuseppe! <laughs> Attacking midfielder on the left with the role of winger. 
Dude, you're right footed. You want so that just uh, just just all right. Listen, you want to be a winger on the left when you only have a right foot. I just want to make sure that that's what you want. That's what you want. You want that. Okay. 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 She is reponing everything. Like, wait. <laughs> Travellas. Yeah. Dude, just Quaresma out on the left wing. Okay, Giuseppe Picasso. Uh, where you're going to remove that? Uh, important player, long term ambitions, and I will help you learn to speak French. Yes. Uh, financially, to totally float that amount. Yeah. Uh, this is my GM recommendation, though. We'll see what he asks for. Um, relegation release clause, 2.5 million. Nothing crazy. Okay. He definitely wanted a relegation release clause in there. I'll go ahead and take what he's offering because we are up against a team that he likes better than us. But we're looking to make a move. Giuseppe Casso brings a quality winger into the club. At a, at a pretty cut rate cost because Frosinone, I believe, did go down. Wow. South Korea should have just scored. They had a cutback shot that was saved by the foot of the Saudi Arabia goalkeeper. And it's getting late, too, dude. That is a bad miss with five minutes left, man. South Korea really should have just scored. They're putting the pressure on. Saudi Arabia's up 1 0. I've got it at 85 22 right now. But, yeah, South Korea, they're, they're, they bottled it on that last chance. That should have been in the back of the net. That's, that's tough. The K-pop people are going to be making songs about how heartbroken they are about that. All right, this is a lot, of, a lot of dudes getting their contract jacked up. That's what's up. Not that bad. Laws is triggered. Uh, who's getting yearly salary raises? Looks like a lot of the young guys. Yeah, Jacques Ecomier is still getting yearly salary raises. We put one in Bengani Kumalo's contract. I forgot about. It. Okay, um, Elaix more, but Slavia Prague, dude, Slavia Prague is desperate. Besiktas and Mallorca, they also accepted our offer, but our offer got in first. You know what I'm saying? Vissel Kobe made a 1.1 million dollar offer for Mamadou Koulibaly. Oh, well, the Saudi keeper might have just broken his arm. He just dove into the post. Saudi Arabia is going nuts. They just, they had two players. Like, they're just, I don't know how South Korea has a score, dude. I'd be honest. Like, South Korea is shooting, and then random Saudi dudes are just in the goal. Like, two Saudi dudes were next to the goalkeeper. Just, they had him backed in that far, just kicking the ball away. It's getting wild. Uh, Rafaz, thank you for the eight months. Appreciate the prime. Thanks for supporting the stream. Who did Zealand marry? I missed that poll. Gold Shark, thank you for the two months, dude. Thanks for supporting the stream as well. I appreciate you. Bryn Worrell. Oh, dang it. A Premier League team's already on Bristol City's Bryn Worrell. Oh, yeah. He just smacked into the... He might have broken his arm there. That sucks. That sucks. I'm going to try and see... Oh, I'm, I'm looking at the cutback. What a save. Oh, my. Dude, I'm going to see if that goes up on the Reddit so I can show you guys. What a save. Oh, the Saudi keeper. That The save on the cutback that I was talking about was nasty. He was going the wrong way, and he's, like, falling over, and he just goes, Ugh! sticks his foot out. I swear he saved it with, like, his studs, too. 
because the guy hit it back where he was coming from, just kicks his leg out, knocks it off to the side. That was a really, really good save. And now the guy, like, doesn't have an arm. South Korea is, they're doing everything they can. Stefan and Evan Gesson leaving. Yeah. Carney, Chukwameka, Dinamo Zagreb, Rangers, Frosinone, and Augsburg. I'll enter the sweepstakes. What does he want? Oh, he doesn't think our team is good enough? Okay. Dude, all I do is find great English players, and then they are immediately getting snapped up by Premier League teams. It's almost like me finding them. Other, other, you know, other people are also finding them. Mullen and Worrell both got Premier League transfer offers already. Tough out here, dude. Hey, thank you for the thousand bits, Wally. Thank you for the second thousand bits. FM's a slideshow. Is Paramount Plus worth it? I would say usually not. All right, let me reset it. That's just... Capture card's been weird recently. It's the second time that's happened in, like, the past couple weeks. Just get yeah I, I know how to re I know what well, I know what to do to reset it I literally just reload the capture card it's just yeah you know, maybe maybe we need to get a new capture card you know oh well fun um give me a sec now we're good. Just had to, I uh, just had to eat the res back. Now we're good. We're good. We're good. Now we're good. It should be moving fine. Yeah, we're good. Okay. We were going wide, baby. Oreo Finn, thank you for the two <laughs> months. Yeah, I do have an ultra wide monitor that I actually shrink down for when I'm streaming. Here, I, I might be able to show you guys that. Hold on. Give me, uh, give me a sec. It's good. We're about to get weird. You guys are, you guys are down for that. Um, uh, ready to get weird? Whoa, whoa! Hi, ultra wide monitor. You see, but then I've got like the black bars on the side when I'm uh when I'm streaming. So this is like FM, and then that's the ultra wide. Pretty wild, dude. Pretty trippy. It doesn't bother me at all, but I know if you have like OCD, it would bother. Like, I, I don't know. Would that be like an OCD triggering thing? I mean, it's just like a normal, it's like having a normal monitor. LAX Moraba still doesn't want to go to Sparta Prague. Stream setup to her. It's not really, uh, not really clean. The only thing that's clean, <laughs> the only thing that's clean is like the background here. We do have a pretty sweet setup though. I, you know, over the years I've learned how to put together a, Pretty sick setup. Come on, South Korea. There's 10 minutes. 10 minutes of stoppage time, South Korea. You can do this. We want, the people want extra time, South Korea. They're all over the Saudi goal. They just can't score. Molly's up 1 0 at halftime against Burkina Faso. Eden Toklamati just moved. Buchanan. Dude, there's a lot of freaking. Uh, when do they schedule these friendlies that I, I wasn't noticing? Check Burkina Faso's own goal. It's hilarious. Okay, we have Toulouse, Nimes, on C, Laval. Why? Why? What are we doing? We have Saturday, and we're like, oh, yeah, let's, do, let's put one on Thursday. I'm going to get rid of the Monday one. But I will add a home match against Ajax that will make us over 100,000. Actually, you know what? We're getting rid of all these friendlies. Your friendlies, they suck. Sorry. I want home matches. I want home matches against big teams. All hol well, all halal, not quite. Braga. I want to make money, baby. Buy your Leverkusen. Where are we uh, touring? Lausanne Sport. Lugano. 
clearly in Switzerland. Uh, Brentford. Really? They don't, they're not drawing the crowd to get like a Premier League team in here? Real Betis. Okay, fine. Make 40000 for the home match. Yep. So I, uh, yeeting our friendlies into the sun so we can schedule some home friendlies and make more money from the ticket sales. Thank you very much. Uh, all right. I want to import my training. Oh, South Korea. Oh, my dude, They are so close. Oh, how is South Korea not scored? Kwang Yi Chun's walking back like, oh my, he headed that really well too. Headed it down into the ground at the back post and the keeper just comes flying like. South Korea, man, running out of time. Five minutes left. Saudi Arabia's hanging on. Uh, but I do need to uh, go to a little Zealand YouTube. Oh, oh, goodness, the light. Um. Where, where is my, I, dude, I need to import my freaking stuff. Old Spice Styling Cream, low hold, low shine. So good. You know that feeling of having to rewash dishes that didn't Just get Just making myself some money real quick. I don't. Platinum Plus is Cascade's best clean ever. With double the dawn and double the scrubbers, it removes the toughest grease and residue for an irresistible clean and shine. Cascade Platinum Plus. Dare to dish differently. There we go. I have some bad news. Oh. Just making myself some money. Oh, my dude. How is South Korea not scored? Jurgen Klinsmann's about to have a freaking aneurysm, dude. Yeah, I'm not gonna. No, I'm not gonna import it. I just need to find the uh, image of my preseason training so that I can import it. All right, so that's the image of my preseason training. It is insane. South Korea hasn't scored, by the way. Absolutely insane. Create a new training schedule. So this is how you do this, by the way. So I have endurance and then resistance and then chance creation. And then I have endurance and then resistance and then team bonding. Hell yeah. And then I have endurance and quickness. And then I have a uh, defensive shape. And then I have endurance, quickness, and then attacking shadow play. They have team merch, ma teamwork, match practice, match um, prep, which is not going to happen. So we have, we're going to go with community outreach and match tactics and then there'll be like a match prep and then match match day and then recovery recovery match review all right sweet that's the um i'm gonna save that preseason that is our preseason training getting us ready to rock and roll while we're jamming out wally thank you for the gifted sub dude every time he hears daft punk he's like I'm gifting a sub. That's sick, dude. Well done. So we now uh we've constructed our training. We can now we can now add it. Um yeet. Time to actually crush this preseason, bro. And then obviously we've added an extra match day. So what we're gonna do is a little recovery, little match practice. We're Gucci. Preseason, I love it. My preseason's in place. Time to train, baby.
Now, the reason you got to do that at the beginning of the season, I have to do that at the beginning of the season, is because you got to prepare your team for the physical toll of actually applying our training schedules. I've been happy with the injury rates over the past couple of seasons. And so now we, I, I feel like it will still work in the game. So that's why we're our, our old training. South Korea scored? Oh, it, was, it had been coming. It had been coming, chat. South Korea has scored in the 99th minute to equalize in the Asian Cup knockouts. They'd been all over South. They'd been all over Saudi Arabia. I'm watching it right now. Back post cross, headed back, and in for South Korea. Ah! South Korea. Oh my heavens, me! Cho Ge Song, the hero from the World Cup, has scored again for South Korea. It's a great assist, too. Do they have that in the play-by-play uh, -play nonsense or no? They don't have that in the match commentary. Oh, very, very good goal. Cross to the back post, headed back across to the middle, then the guy heads it home. Very straightforward. They're here. South Korea. Jurgen Klinsmann still alive. South Saudi Arabia just folded in too quick, dude. Saudi Arabia, uh, yeah, uh, Saudi Arabia folded in too quick. They invited too much pressure. They'd been the better team for most of the match, but I swear from the 80th minute on, it's been all South Korea. <sighs> twice, it sounds like. You lost the case twice. Brutal. Assuming this guy, it, it, please be German. Come on, you couldn't have a sketchy pass one time. One time, one time, somebody's like, please have a sketchy pass. Nope. Geronimo Portal. No. Jack Patterson, 22-year-old Northern Ireland midfielder. You ain't in the EU, brother. Nassim Dandani. Don't think so. Jorge Diaz. Don't think so. Uh, you can you can maybe a well be good in the future. Christian Spendy. Curious to know why my scouts think he's that good based off what I'm looking at, but who knows? He might actually be that good. I'm assuming there is no second nationality hanging out here. Well, I, England, but that doesn't help. Nahuel Tanaglia of Nottingham Forest. I'm always here for a good Nahuel, but. I vowed Playtinks. It's a good job we finished scouting him. Fahad Al Balawi. That is a really good Saudi player. They could use him right now. <laughs> Going to extra time. South Korea, Saudi Arabia. I just saw the whistle blow over there. Simfex, so thank you for the eight months. I'm gonna go with a B plus. I agree with chat's grades for your dad joke. I think it was an above average dad joke, a quality one that uh, more than a few people in the chat here will repeat, you know, in their actual life. Um, I don't think Fahad Al Balawi. My issue is that he's non EU. It's my only issue with him. Um, he's born and raised in Saudi Arabia. So, like, that's. I'll put him on target acquired, but he'd be our last non EU spot if we signed him and be our starting left back. That's my only concern. Uh, is he counts towards our, our rule. So there's no weird thing that's including Saudi Arabia in it. Yes, I know Rarish is good. Crepin Diata. He's not actually that good right now. And he's really expensive. Dylan Barrero. Hell yeah, brother. Harvey Araujo. Left back from Fleetwood, but I sense some Portuguese. Oh, come on. Harvey! Give me something to work with. A Deji Sternberg. Not feeling that. Diadi. Oh, Diadi Samaseku. My, one of my favorite of all the Malians. All right. Zion. Dude, I just saw the replay of the Saudi goal and thought they'd just scored again. And I was like, no way. So Zion Suzuki would count against the registration. But he is only $5 million and a good goalkeeper. Tough. We only have one foreign spot left. 
The other three foreign spots are occupied by starting players. Just looked away from the FM monitor for a minute. My two best players are injured. I blame you. <laughs> so sorry. Didn't mean to, dude. Lohan Doucette. Ooh. These are the types of guys we want to find. Why, chat? You know the answer to this. Why do we like Lohan Doucette? He's playing in a bad league. He's non-EU. Low demand for price. Low demand for wage. No idea how good he is as a player. I'm going to move him to target acquired. Somebody that we could conceivably immediately make a move on. Romario Gila. Yeah, really surprising. Kosovo. Dang it. We just forgot to include Kosovo in the whole non-EU exemption. That is racist. <laughs> Come on, man. Everybody around Kosovo is in the non-EU exemption. Except for Kosovo. Did South Korea equalize? Yes, it had been, dude. They had Saudi Arabia under siege. This is a Saudi Arabia home match, too, so that must have been vindication for the South Korean fans that are there. You know they always travel well. So it is extra time, South Korea and Saudi Arabia at the Asian Cup and the premier match of the round of 16 in the Asian Cup. It's a great matchup. Martin Georgievs at Pauk Thessaloniki, Serdar Sachi. He's on loan from where? Werder Bremen? Ten concentration's a bit tough. Denny's Popov? Seven composure is nuts. It's absolutely nuts. I, I can't. Another same type of guy. You know, is, is very well-rounded. Non-EU, bad league. Bring guys out of leagues that are worse than ours. Real key to success. Aliyu Federa. I've wanted this guy for years. And for some reason, he just never becomes available for us. And now he is. But now at the, the level we're at, it, oh, come on. Maybe if we get desperate, Aliyu Federa is a guy we can go after. I, I don't think... Finally, we've ascended to a level where we don't think he's great. But he was the guy we tried to bring to knock Britta back in the day. Taiwo Awaniyi. No, Rensford, Yaboa, Karning, Starfer. Just all-time, all-name team type player. Momo Mbai. You're going to go in the end of contract list. So I'm not thrilled that you can't play like right back or something he's got most of the skill set for it too he's just wasting it it's a really weird left back with no stamina but great mental monster what the hell is this guy he's got like center back technical ability then adds in 13 crossing mentally he's he's all there he's very in aggression's a little low the bravery's fine Work rate's high. He just gets tired. Like, I mean, <laughs> he's just in bad shape, and he's not a good athlete at all. That is, yeah, I mean, his hair attribute, definitely a 20. It looks like he's wearing a wig, honestly. Loves a big match, very consistent, but only balanced personality. Like, very weird, like, there's good, and then there's bad on Carlos Romero. If I signed him, I don't know if I would be happy with him. But I don't want to not keep track of him. Weird player. Is he a defensive winger? Uh, maybe. Ismail Asoro from Beitar, Jerusalem. Mr. Workrate and Aggression, who is a bit afraid of a big match. Let's let's just check his uh, relative hates big matches. I don't think we've gotten that report in a while. I think we want to go at it here. Omari Hutchinson. Yeah, these are guys that guys that we would like to remove from our list. Luca Hirolainen. Oh, the jumping. Oh my, he's six six. A six six halfback. 
South Korea and Saudi Arabia. Oh, Molly just scored. I'm assuming somebody just said that. Molly is off and running. It is Sineyo. I don't know who that is. Sineyoko. La Cine Sineyoko of Auxerre in uh, the French leagues. Nice. 2-0 to Molly. We never watched that first goal, so... Let's see if we can uh, find it. Uh, no, maybe Molly. I'm sure somebody posted it. Well, so this is the own goal. This is the own goal from the Molly match. Somebody said it was really funny. So th this is the first goal for Mali, third minute of the match, AFCON knockouts against Burkina Faso. It's just AFCONing. Is it? Is it just AFCONing? All right, so does he cross it here? Like how, okay. Yeah, there's the cross. I'm just trying to, like, okay, so his brain is like, ah, this dude's behind me. Let me get rid of this ball. There's a dude right here, and if I don't touch it, this will be a goal. And he's like, let me just kick it wide. Uh, that is some FM nonsense right there. That is some utter FM nonsense. So he's trying to just chip it wide of the goal because the guy's right behind him and about to get to the ball, and he just chips it right into the corner like a beautiful finish. Yeah, we know Molly. We we just got the update. Molly scored a second goal, so they're they're off and running. Two 0 on Burkina Faso in the second half. Great start to the second half. I. I really hope Molly finally finds a way to do it. They are good enough to win AFCON. They they should be at World Cups. They're not. <laughs> they are good enough to win AFCON. Welcome, Ilo Savarievich. No nonsensing center back. Uh, yeah. No. Yeah, no, you're you're not in it right now. Ruben van Bommel, okay, Kiraman Prun, Ayub Bellarabi. He's got some shiftiness to him, but I don't think he's actually that good. And then Marchich is an end of contract guy. We'd be popping into contract at uh January, not right now. Okay, so we did find a couple of guys that we didn't hate. I uh, want to make sure that we prioritize their scouting to die, judge. Oh, my goodness. Sealand. Um, Samaseku. Prioritize. Um, Sheik Nyase. Perhaps. What am I missing that makes him bad? What am I missing that makes this guy bad? Because all I'm seeing is a world-class left back. Jumping reach? Left back. Who cares? In real life, he's a mess. Santiago Montiel? Well, right now, I'm seeing my guy.
Scouting's not done. It's in progress, but I'm going to prioritize it. We'll see if we can find any issues with his, like, because I remember seeing him and being like, yes, this guy's sick. But we haven't, uh, we haven't gotten through the scouting yet. Oh, we're scouting Andreas Sheldrop. Well, that's useful. Oh, because he's at the Euros. Oops. That dude is nasty, but we'll assess him once we have all of the information. We don't have it yet, so. We will assess our man when we have all the information. So, Bakari, you came out the low end when it came to your pace, which makes sense. I'm going to check to see if there's anybody else like that that we're like, hey, we want to kind of know how good they are now. Obviously, we'd love to know how good all these guys are immediately, but. Well, South Korea nearly scored again. They are all over them. Yeah, I'll prioritize Spendy. Where is he? By Spendy, you're up. Chiknyase. Okay. Just need our scouts to keep on working, but there are a couple of guys in there that I'm interested about. Nor Norway in the Euros? Yeah, I know. Absolutely wild. But it is only shelter up. I think uh, Serbia got knocked out in the group stage. I think Norway is still going. So transfers in the air right now are Cabela Mokoena and Giuseppe, Cas uh, Giuseppe Casso. Uh, Mokoena to be a rotational striker at the next level for us. Giuseppe Casso to be a starting winger on this team. And Mamadou Koulibaly is working on a move to Vissel Kobe that we hope goes through. Now, who I'm interested in moving continuously here is Alvaro Rodriguez. I would love to move Alvaro Rodriguez. We're now a top flight team, you know. If you hadn't heard, we're a top flight team. So Alvaro Rodriguez on the move. My brother, why did you say no to me? We could have had something so special. Why did you say no to me when we could have been so special? Sold nearly 15,000 season tickets. That's what I'm talking about. That guy is him. He's, he's Hemi. But we can't. Alas, we, I cannot. Jorge Souza, he's requested transfer. He is... Also him. So Maldonado, 41 to 51. God, if only I was, like, unbelievably wealthy. Like, it's it's kind of ridiculous that I'm not, like, really inconsiderate, that I don't have unlimited money. Like, I just think it's ridiculous that I'm, you know, that they expect me to be able to deal with this when I don't have unlimited money. I, it's honestly offensive. Um... Student played in the Portuguese national team. Are you kidding me? Hey, Burkina Faso got a pen. Oh. Uh, the players are happy as the referee awards a penalty after a VAR review. Mutaz Ibrahim. And it is a penalty for Burkina Faso to try and spice up the match with Mali here. 2-0 to Mali, but Burkina Faso have been to consecutive AFCON semifinals. It's Bertrand Traore to take it for Burkina Faso. Their talismanic forward, Bertrand Traore. 
to give us two intriguing matches now as Molly was trying to make it a rare, comfortable knockout match at AFCON. But as somebody eloquently put it earlier, Africa's Uzbekistan, Burkina Faso, trying to stay tight with one of the top teams of the continent. And they have Bertrand Traore has scored the penalty, and it's 2-1. Extra time plodding along with Saudi Arabia in South Korea. Burkina Faso is pulled within a goal of Mali, and we're set up for an exciting finish there as well. But uh, Burkina Faso has been to the last four of AFCON in consecutive tournaments. Like, okay, I want this guy. How much would it cost to have this guy on my team? Interesting. We might be able to make this work for Jorge Souza of the Portuguese national team. All the Saudis scored. Oh, it's Saudi. It hasn't even come through yet, dude. Are you lying to me? It hasn't even come through on the friggin' app yet. This app is as fast as humanly possible. I think you're lying to me. I think that was fake news. That was fake news. Wow. Fake news. I was like, if I'm going to learn how to time somebody out, I, I, I timed him out for 10 minutes. <laughs> I went over and figured out how to time somebody out. This is what we do to fake news around here. All right. You don't make me pull up the tabs unless something's happening. You don't make me pull up the tabs unless something is happening, you know? Get wrecked, son. Just kidding, Smurf. I'll see you in 10 minutes. It's only 10 minutes. <laughs> Jorge Souza. I like him because he plays two positions we need, where Ivan Alves it doesn't. The technique, the speed, the off the ball, the, the flair, composure, anticipation, they're all high. He can cross it. He can finish it. Passing is the only real concern. Decision making is a little low for a central player like an attacking midfield, but we have plenty of those. Oh, South Korea on the move. I think, you know, I think we might try and sell our soul to make that move. Now, this guy is the other guy we would want. But they're like, we still want 84 million. Moise! Moist with the 20 gifted subs, dude. Holy Toledo. Moist in celebration of the timeout drops. 20 gifted subs. Chat shows some love for Moist, giving 20 more people the ad free experience and the emotes and access to the subsection of the Discord and all of that cool stuff. If you got one, be sure to say thank you. And thank you for supporting the uh, the stream, Moist. 70 gifted subs over the last two days from Moist. My dude, coming in hot. We appreciate it. We appreciate it a lot. The fam a lamb a lamb a lamb a lamb The hammers. Jean Martins. Now, how much would it? Dude, you better. Like, why do you not want to play for me? Seriously. I'll make you a god. You're only 12 million on your release clause. I will make you the king of Saint Etienne. I will knight you. Play for me. I'm in the top flight, dude. Play for me. He's only 12 million on a release clause. He's ridiculous. Play for me, Jean Martins. Play for me. In the meantime, I'm going to negotiate with this guy. We're going to try 17 mil up front. 
five mil after league appearances. Okay, what about 15 installments, three 12-monthly installments that add up to 7.5, and then we pay 4. Point, no, then we pay 3 after. So that adds up to 22, 25. That's more than the last one added up to. I'll pay the 17 million up front, but you got to take this down to 7.5. And that's 3.5. So that's 11. That's 28, but it's the 28 million in different types of payments. Okay. Time to bankrupt that TN. No, he's not wanted by top clubs. I think the, the guy only wants to play for like Real Madrid. Anybody else coming for him is not good enough. But that he's, he's an incredible player. I'll give you 18 if you just allow me to defer some of this. Oh, my God. All right, they're down for the offer. 18 million up front for Jorge Souza, 7.5 million over the next three years. Very well spaced out. 4.3 million after he makes 50 league appearances for the club. He has huge sell on value, so he might not. Um, that's a guaranteed payout of 25.5 million for an incredible player. <laughs> Suze is down, but he feels Dortmund, Werder Bremen, and Wolfsburg are more appealing. He wants to be guaranteed a star player spot. Oh, I mean, chat, 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 chatity, chat, chat. It's his birthday today. He's about to turn 20. He's got the athletic ability. He's got the technique, the movement. Very, very dangerous player. Star players, uh, he's very ambitious. That's the issue. So he's probably going to work a release clause into his contract as well. Can't even imagine how ambitious this guy is. At the point that he's freaking rejecting our uh, our advances. I'm furious that he's rejecting our advances. Why? Why does he not? Why? I don't get why he wouldn't want to play for us. We're in a better league, man a better league all right how about important and then star right i don't think you'll want that but i'm gonna try and prove that now be established legal team no french yeah totally um i just want you to take that i don't want you to be a star player off the off the drop here uh so relegation release clause 40 million yeah i'm okay with that i'm okay with that the club would turn a profit if we got relegated, no other release clause outside of a relegation release clause, which is sick. Uh, friendly relationship. Oh, it's not his birthday. Oops. His birthday's next month. He turns 20 next month. Ore Souza. Um... Especially if we sell Alvaro, there's plenty of room on the team for this guy. He's going to be like, I want $3 million. Yep. Wow, I really need to go outside more. I knew exactly how much he was going to ask for. <laughs> I didn't know he was going to gray it out or I would have made an adjustment, but I knew exactly what he was going to ask for. Oh. Uh, 2.65 hard lock or jesus is down 20 year old portuguese starlet or jesus to come into saint that the end is our star signing we are going to need to sell to buy at this point why are we oh i still have that idiot scheduling friendlies for me that's uh, yeah okay sorry not idiot preferred person friendly matches the senior team so where, where, where do you schedule that friendly? Some stupid spot in the schedule? Yeah, get rid of that. Get rid of that nonsense, dude. Get rid of that nonsense. We play, oh, Leon away is our third match. Hello. <laughs> Fahad Al-Balawi. Dang it, man. I really did want to spend some time to decide whether this guy was a left back that we wanted to sign. I'm not using my last foreign spot on a 20-year-old Saudi left back that's good, not great. I'm not. Change the wrong setting. Yeah, I didn't really read. 
Oh, Leeds friendly matches. Yeah, I did. That would have been annoying. Did I change the wrong setting? Yes. Sandwich. Well, we had a little free time. This guy, I'm surprised this guy doesn't have a lot of potential. He's actually quite good. Arab commentators are fire. You're just figuring this out. They're electric. They are great. No! Giuseppe Picasso is signed with Besiktas, and we have failed to make... Oh, South Korea surely has to score. What the hell is going on? Oh, my God. I looked over and the, uh, the South Korea had the ball behind Saudi Arabia's goalkeeper. Oh, he went to Besiktas. Yeah, sorry, I didn't really finish the sentence well because I looked over. South Korea had the ball here. And Saudi Arabia's goalkeeper was like next to him off to the side, dude. And they they kept they how did they not score? Give me a replay. Give me a replay. Okay. So through ball, two strikers, two center backs. Keeper comes out. It rolls off his chest to a striker around the penalty spot who lays it back. What the hell is he doing? Shoot the ball. The keeper just shanked it and it rolls right to the middle of the goal. And yeah, there's two Saudi Arabian people in the goal, but like, you got to shoot it. He tries to lay it off to create another angle. And then by the time it gets to the other guy, the goalkeeper's recovered. Lord. Dominion, thank you for the four months. Thank you for the prime. I have no idea how South Korea didn't score that goal. That was crazy. So we did not get Giuseppe Picasso, but we are getting the South African Cabello Mokoena to be a squad player for us, a, a bright, explosive young striker from Kaiser Chiefs, our old Soweto Derby rival. We're trying to save him, you know. So he doesn't have to play for our Soweto Derby rivals anymore. 325,000. Really easy, easy transfer for us to uh, put together. And he, he counts as EU, of course, because of the rules. Ben McAteer, thank you for the prime. Wally, thank you so much for the gifted sub, dude. You're, you're all over it today. Thank you for gifting so many subs. Thank you for making so many people's days, Wally. Wow, they really think he's the bee's knees, dude. He might actually be our starting striker this year. What a crazy signing if that's true. What a crazy signing if is he that I mean he is either footed too. I guess there's like a there's a lot of things to like about this guy. We just signed a good 19-year-old player in like like hmm. Hmm. I love how like the stars can make you reevaluate things. Like everything you need, anticipation, composure off the ball work rates a little low and obviously not a passer but the stamina is high he's not strong or tall but he's not like really short or really weak it's okay it's just not good long shots are six so we've got ourselves a chicharito here but it you know has the good burst i think he needs to learn um oh i can't okay i when when can i discuss a new trait like few days I need to, we need to get him to not drop deep to receive the ball because that's just going to make him so much worse. Yeah, what's Mokoena's value is 5.8 to 7.2 million immediately. That's pretty good. 
But this is also pretty sweet. This opens us up to make some more signings if we can move Alvaro. No, Juan Maldonado is going to be in our freaking league, too. Are you joking? It's Nice that ponied up with the cash. That sucks. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, I think it's it's time to adios our boy Alvaro Rodriguez here. So they offered me a 10 million value. I'm thinking we just go up to like 11 and a, they might just bounce this. Okay, no, they're like, hey, we'll give you that value, but not up front. And I'm like, okay, but I, I want it. I want it up front, though. Do you just not have a lot of money right now? Like, what are you guys doing? You guys are just chilling. We signed him for free, so we're pretty happy to make this move. How about seven and a half and seven and a half? That would make me feel good about the financial future. Like, hold on. Just 10, dude. Just give me 10. That's less value than what you're offering me financially. Right? Like before. Do we need, like, what is that? They can't, they definitely just don't have the money, man. They don't have the money. I think we can get more than that. I really do. There's somebody out there that really actually wants him and likes him. It has more than, <laughs> start learning Chinese, buddy. I guess you're a little underpaid, but. I'm going to go get some chips. You guys groove out. I'll be right back. Get your best dancing emotes in the chat. Oh, yeah, we're grooving. We're grooving. What's next? Oh, yeah. Oh, some silky, groovy guitar. Getting chips, speed run, any percentage? I mean, the kitchen is, like, right there, so. It's a New York apartment, dude. There's, <laughs> there's not a lot of distance between stuff. You guys want some? They're um, dill pickle flavored potato chips. Don't knock them till you try them. They're actually quite good. Dude, this Saudi goalkeeper is nuts, by the way. He's making some crazy saves. Well, off Eater Zane, then. Thank you for the six months. I appreciate it. So are we giving Vanden Bauman a new contract? I'm thinking you, I'm thinking we do. I'm thinking we do. Uh, he's getting paid less than a million a year. Oh, it was star player is a little little much there hot shot but you can stay an important player we're giving him a new contract pay the man he's a fan favorite captain 10 goals eight assists last year the vanden Boomin. hell yeah brother all right we're negotiating a little bit though hot shot we're not i'm, I'm not just handing you 1.81 million 
I'm giving you a little like 1.6 nonsense. All right. Should create another recruitment focus. Um, looking for goalkeepers specifically. We're going to top priority this because we haven't really found a goalkeeper target that we like. Um, that's it. Transfer or loan. Just a, a high-quality goalkeeper would be ideal. Since we have an open spot, I'm not looking for into contract right now. We should look at the job center. I, I forgot I haven't looked in two weeks. Hmm. Good thinking. Luca Dean is retired. Like, he wasn't at his best at the end of the year, but he gave us a pretty good season. We, you know, we brought him in for the last year of his career. Help get the club back up. Just lost our two freaking friendlies in the training camp, though. Teams touring nearby? Nobody. Apparently. He is Satif. Yeah, I don't even freaking know who that is, but sure. We're a, a freaking Algerian team. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Sick. Satif rejected our friend. I mean, why? Am I that unlovable? Don't answer that. Uh, does this team want to play against us? Yes, they do. Whoever they are. Guaranteed. Whirlwind, thank you for the nine months. Wow. Thank you for being a part of the Ambers for nine months. Chris, thank you so much for the prime and the three months. And they rejected it as well. You know what? I'm just not making any changes now. I'm I'm just not. We'll just play Dijon. That's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll reset everything else and just play Dijon, and that's okay. We kick off on the 3rd of July, which is great, because that means they at least let it turn over before we get there. Matthew Mullen's going to be moving. Loans expire. Joe Whitworth and Andre Marrera headed back. Two goalkeepers we loaned in. And Mamadou Koulibaly <laughs> played a couple matches for us. But more importantly, he was a guy that agreed to stick around even though he was on the team that got relegated. I wish him happiness in Japan. $1.1 million to go play at Vissel Kobe. Three minutes of stoppage time in the Asian Cup. Oh, hot diggity dog. Still 2-1 Mali over Burkina Faso in the 81st minute. Saudi Arabia, South Korea in the final three minutes of extra time. Is there a hero or is it penalties between two of the best teams in Asia to see who gets to the quarterfinals to play against Australia? Don't worry, Uzbekistan is already through because they're freaking Uzbekistan, dude. It's what they do. We need to look at Gasson. I need to look at the job center and I need to look at Gasson. I'm forgetting about things and it's costing me. Or Wanda's open. Yes. What's our rep? I'm a three and a half star manager.
So seven foreign players. Oh, yeah, Ghana's open again. Ghana's open. Um, Rwanda's open. Hong Kong is open. Final minute of stoppage time. We got Saudi Arabia. Oh, my God. Saudi Arabia probably should have scored with like 30 seconds left. Well saved by Joe. That's seven foreign players. All right. Who is still in uh, Libertadores? Do they haven't won a match in what? <laughs> Botafogo is in the uh, Libertadores. We will apply. All right, we are applying. We are tendering our application, Botafogo. Atletico Monero. Also in the next round with an easier draw. It might be worth mo noting. So Monero, um, we applied to Monero, we applied to Botafogo, and there is also Internacional, who are in the Copa Sudamericana, which sucks. I don't know if we'd take that job, but we will apply to it. And then there's Gremio. Racing club, Bournemouth, who got relegated, Augsburg, who are in the Bundesliga. They just finished 14th each of the last two years. But I would rather stay in league all than go there. Vasco's in 19th. Gremio's in 18th. They need to have some money, but they don't. Dima, thank you for the four months, my dude. So I think it's those three jobs. I think we'd take the, th the three four-star job opportunities. I think we'd take those. I, I wouldn't want to take Clamio, Vasco da Gama. I mean, they're, they're, you know, they're in, I know it's just a few points. They're in the relegation zone, and the money is a little bit lower. Pins in Qatar, yep. Saudi Arabia, South Korea, final whistle. A penalty shootout in one of the Asian giants will go home in a miserably painful way. MLS job, yeah, it's just, it's so, the rules, man, and the AI and MLS, it just is not there. Racing clubs in 21st. Bruh. Bruh. All right, so we're going to apply to these three. Monero, Botafogo, Internacional. I want that four-star reputation job, right? I want, I mean, are they still in an intercontinental competition? I guess they are. I don't know if I'd take that, though. I, like, I don't know if I want to go to a job that has the same reputation that I have. You want to go up. They're playing Alcas. I mean, they're, they're, they're all somehow in a continental competition, like literally all somehow there. <clears throat> we 
Look, we said we'd entertain good job opportunities. I think a four-star job. I mean, St. Etienne's a three-star club reputation, right? These are massive. These are the biggest clubs in Brazil that we're at. Some of the biggest clubs in Brazil that we're having the opportunity to kind of kind of go after. Yeah, Santos are here in, uh, not quite in real life, but in spirit. So Germany's better to coach in than in France? Yeah, but I already have a better control and feel of this roster. They have significantly less kind of weight. I mean, it's easier in the sense that, well, I mean, I'm going to scout you regardless. It's <laughs> Yeah, it's easier in the sense of, like, registration, but I don't feel super limited in France. Sorry, is. Uh, that was the other guy I wanted to look at. So, Gasson is just going to stay on my short list to say player that we'll keep an eye on. I'm sure they'd actually want to loan him again if we wanted him. We'll see if we feel like we need that as we get closer to the end. Stefan's been set for release, the 33-year-old city backup. But if Fogo, Monero, and Internacional have received our job applications, as Saudi Arabia and South Korea get set, Mali and Burkina Faso, you're in the 90th minute on your AFCON Asian Cup update. Mali is in the lead. If they win, they play against Ivory Coast, the host nation, in the quarterfinal in a West African showdown. Burkina Faso needs a goal, or they will end their streak of consecutive trips to the finals, semifinals, the final four. Monero rejected. No, it didn't. They all they they all received the job offer. We are interested. LA and Philly are calling. Oh, I just can't. I just can't do MLS, dude. I, I can't. Even though LA Galaxy are a higher rep club than St. Etienne. Burkina Faso just scored, but it's going to be disallowed. Oh, no way. Goal, no way. It's been ruled out for offside. Asufu Dayo of Burkina Faso disagrees, but the lineman is sure about his call. Are they were they reviewing it right now? Are they they're not reviewing it? The penalty still haven't started. I've got it up on my other monitor over here. Oh, just a moment of happiness for Burkina Faso where they thought they'd done it. Spook, thank you so much for the two months also. I, I don't think I want to go to Vasco or Cremio. We'll apply. We'll apply to those two jobs. Our improvements. Racing clubs also in 21st, and that league is lower reputation. We'll apply to those two. I don't know if we'd take them if we got the job offer. I don't want Augsburg. I'd rather stay at my team. I think we're in very similar situations. I don't want MLS because uh, the rules are brutal. Racing club, I'm assuming, financially is just a little too low from the point we're already at. It's really Brazil or bust. If we're going to go to a big club in South America or it's like, you know, Boca Juniors or something. All right, the penalties are about to start. We're going to keep you updated on each one. 
The penalties are about to start. Saudi Arabia and South Korea. I've got it up on the other screen. Saudi Arabia is going first. Joe is the keeper for South Korea, and might I say he has tremendous flow. He has tremendous flow. Calm penalty, bottom left corner. Strode through it. Mohamed Kano, the excellent holding midfielder for Saudi Arabia. So one pin, one goal. Joe guessed the right way. One pin, one goal. Joe guessed the right way. Mohamed Kano. Uh, now well, the question is, where do you put uh where do you put Sun? I always say put him just send him out first. Set the tempo with your best player. El Morales on the move. All right. Yeah, they sent him out first. It's Sun. They sent him out first. I like that move. I like that move. Son on the spot. He scored it. The app's ahead of my stream, even though I'm on the official stream, like, the official streaming service for uh for the US. Confident into the bottom left corner. Keeper guessed the right way, didn't matter. All right, FCON. See you later, dude. We've released FCON Basiralu. I'm going to clap it up for him. I know we're watching this penalty shootout, but FCON was uh, a very important part of the team. FCON Bakiralu. All right, Saudi up. Oh, absolutely perfect. Like, literally unsavable penalty top left corner. Literally unsavable penalty top left corner. Keeper went the wrong way. I You could have been standing on that side of the goal, and it would have been hard to save. Great take by Saud. It is 2-1 Saudi Arabia. And it looks like South Korea scored as well. Kim Young Gwan to make it two two. But I haven't I, I haven't seen it yet. But Kim Young Gwan left footed take rolled it into the bottom right corner. Keeper guessed the right way again though. Worth mentioning. Keeper keeper went the right way again. Bubakar fall and Ange Lego been released. Yeah, well. Yeah, well, contract offer to Van den Bowman. Yes, Alain Diallo. Fine, I'll give Alain another contract. Um, squad player and then regular starter. And shift it down. He's a academy product, so I think he'll take that. Yeah, we just bullied him completely in that contract negotiation. That was mean how we did that. All right, fifth pin. I haven't seen any spoilers yet. It's Saudi Arabia 2-2. Save by Joe! He went left. It wasn't good. It was pretty slow and not near the corner. On the ground. And Joe saved it. Al Najai has his pin saved by Joe. I got to paint a picture for you here. Um, this guy's hair, the goalkeeper's hair is great. That's not even the hair he's rocking at this thing. Jo Hyun Woo is not even rocking this hair. He's rocking some other hair. It's like a shaved sided mullet. But I think you get the idea. This dude's got some, he's got taste. He's got taste. He's got style. And he just made the save at AFCON. South Korea is now up to take it. Looks like it's been scored. It's come through as scored. It was Cho Ge Sung, who's. One of the heroes from the World Cup team. So it's 3-2 South Korea going to the fourth penalty. 
I'm about to watch that penalty be taken here. Choge Sung. A slow run up, sent him the wrong way, opened his hips up and dropped it in the opposite corner. Very well done from Choge Sung. 3-2 South Korea after three rounds of penalties for a trip to the quarterfinals to take on Australia. And what is essentially a home tournament for Saudi Arabia as well. So they're doing this basically on the road. Relegation release clause. Why, why are you? Okay. You're like, dude, I just want to be associated with a league on team, even though I'm in the reserves and it doesn't really matter. Okay. Just re-signing youth players while this goes on. So I haven't seen the spoilers yet. I'm going to wait until I see it. I'm sure Chad already knows. It's Abdul Rahman Garib, former Nak Breda player, who's stepping up to take it. Abdul rocking my socks Garib, a champion at Nak Breda in the second division. Surely that pedigree will lead to a goal here. Abdul Rahman Garib. Save! No, Garib! Not my former player, bro, no! He went, that was a better pen. It was hard, bottom left corner. It, was pre it probably would have hit the back corner of the net like it wasn't right up against the post, but Joel guessed right. Uh, he guessed right, and he got there. That was a well-hit ball, but Joel Yun-woo making plays in the South Korean goal, dude. Now South Korea just needs to score one of its next two penalties, and it is Jover for Saudi Arabia. South Korea equalized in the 99th minute. Mancini's already walking back to the tunnel. Wow, what a dude. Before the final kick is taken, Mancini's already walking back to the tunnel. That's an insane move. He's literally walking back to the dressing room. He's actually just leaving the field. Like he just kept walking. I thought he would just I thought he just didn't want to look, but he actually just kept walking. Like he just went all the way into the locker room before this penalty was taken. It's Huang. Huang Yi Chen. To win it for South Korea. I'm sure Chad already knows what happens, but I'm going to watch it live. Huang Yi Chen. Oh, it's a perfect pin. And South Korea knocks out Saudi Arabia. The dream is alive for South Korea. Ah! Saudi Arabia. Was the better team most of the match. South Korea took over the match with it, like past the 80th minute. Never looked back. Scored right before the end of stoppage time. That was a brilliant final penalty from Huang Yi Chan. Right in the top corner. Wow. Wow. So your final results. South Korea. Wins on penalties over Saudi Arabia. Former Nak Breda star Abdul Rahman Garib missed a pen to seal Saudi Arabia's fate. Stars Son Young Min, Cho Ge Song, and Huang Yi Chan all converted their penalties. And it's South Korea, Australia in a tasty Asian Cup quarterfinal. The other part of that bracket is Jordan, Tajikistan, which means the winner of South Korea, Australia is probably through. But Saudi Arabia gets knocked out before Tajikistan, Uzbekistan, Jordan. Absolutely brutal look for them. Yikes. Mancini, dude, can we talk about that? Mancini headed down the tunnel a minute before the final penalty was taken. I don't think he's getting sacked. I thought they played pretty well. And I mean, round of 16 at the Asian Cup is like a little below expectation, but I don't think that's like fire your manager right after you hired him. Like, 
Yeah, he's like he's trying to sprint to the airport so he doesn't get arrested or something. Like, what's <laughs> you literally, I've never seen that, dude. That's insane. That is an insane look, in my opinion, to just be headed down the tunnel before the penalty shootouts even. I mean, like, crazier things have happened, right? Is it unlikely? Yeah. But, like, the South Korean coach didn't walk down the tunnel with two minutes left in the match when they were down a goal, you know? Like, crazier things have happened. Just trying to find the exit, I guess. He pff, hope he found it. For his sake, he was ready to roll. Man, they really are hating on Liam Scales as a player. And now I'm going to start to hate on Liam Scales as a player. No, I'm not. I still think he's fine. He's getting worse, though. He's not helping his own case. Calvin Ramsey. Do we want to hang on to old Cal next season? Old Calvin. Poor leadership from the Cal. Yeah. Boy, if I'm on that team, that would really anger me. I'd be like, dude, what? If I'm on that team, I'd be like, you're walking down the tunnel right now. What are you even talking about? Oh, oh hey, how about we go to seven and then bring it back down? <laughs> Okay, never mind. Nice try. Hey, Mbabu, we uh we get that sweet sweet loan offer yet? No. Okay, re-signing the guys that are obviously of the high potential level. Whoa, Marel Redelli of Luxembourg, sweet. Do -do -do -do. They have an automatic, yeah. And trigger Radelli's extension and Mason Mecha. Got that one-year contract extension. We'll go ahead and trigger that in there. Deals are handled for players that we want to keep around, um, except for Calvin Ramsey. Nothing crazy, though. Uh, Bubakar Fall, former goalkeeper for cup matches, has been released, and so has FCON. May he rest in eternal glory after helping us get promoted. So and then Bondo's joining our team. So we're gonna have uh we're gonna have our more familiar looking roster at this point. Did we look at the job center? Yeah, I pro I applied to five Brazilian jobs from large clubs in the top league of Brazil. I don't know if we'll get them. Goodbye, FCON. Goodbye. Thank you for your tremendous service. Thank you for staying last year and being an important part of the team. We were happy to have you. But it is it's time to move on. But worth the Marrera are gone. All right, let's get get a rather guy in. Bondo. Join the team. Where did Nack go? They went back down. Nack finished last in the Eredivisie, but they were three points from safety. It was a very tight race in at the end of the season. Uh, Botafogo just offered us a... Uh, they just offered us an interview right here. Botafogo just offered us an interview. Curious. Well, he did just sign Bondo, so we are happy that Bondo's here. Uh, Luis Torres, Lekovic, Cabela Mokoena. All you guys are in the team. Congrats. Yay. Martin, can you welcome him? Sweet. All right, do we, we get rejected from any of the uh, jobs or no? 
Fahad El Balawi is the hot guy on the, you know, hot dude on the street. Crim and feedback, and then we'll do the interview. Carl Rushworth. There he is. Nikola Krestovich, Fabrizio Vetresca, Paulo Ibarra, Jim Bertson Gore. Jim Bertson, I see. Should have known. Do, 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 do. Thank you. And Botafogo. Hi. I really want to know what kind of transfer budget you've got, John Texter, but. How would you overcome the big obstacle of not speaking the language? Um, fairly adept at learning new languages. I think that's clear at this point. Can you use your concerns about having never previously managed in our country? Um, the fact that I've experienced in various other countries shows that I can adapt. Why do you think about making what some people would describe as a sideways move in manage? I mean, it's not. Your club's much bigger than the club that I'm at right now. Um... I'm concerned to be the best head coach I can be. Why have you felt it acceptable to apply to a number of jobs? It's my choice. And I'm considering my options. We've been performing well below expectations, even though we're on our best run of the season. You get this team back on track. Yeah, I mean, I'm very good at turning teams around. Yeah, your general manager's plenty good enough. I'll work with him. What sort of budget you anticipating need for the staff? A uh, fair amount of changes. If you emerge successful, would you be expected to adhere to the club's vision for the future? You're interested to hear your comments if you have any. Uh, work within the budget, develop players, reach the latter stages of Libertadores, qualify for Libertadores. I guess we are at ninth. That's not that, like, far away. Yeah, I can do that. Uh, I agree with what you're offering me. We're willing to provide you a transfer budget of $42 million. You would. Yeah, but you work the pay, uh, proposed payroll budget. Should I get the roll? Yeah. Sweet. Don't get too excited. We've had interviews with Brazilian clubs before. They've never given us the job. We've had interviews with Brazilian clubs before. They've never given us the job. Now, Botafogo would be the best job offer that we could get, but... We've had interviews before. No clubs in France release players. Anybody that's not old as dirt. Santiago has a fair. Jeca. Chancellor Bimba might have a good year left in him. Let's see. Emery John. Hey, let's go. Let's go, Emery. Where were you at? Stad Rene. I'm there. Benjamin Beauregard. Time to try and find a place to play, Benjamin. Yuri Pavlenka. Now we should at least check out the goalkeeper if we're going to make a move like that. Takumi Minamino. Wow, he got all sorts of bad. Short list of players nearing the end of their contracts. How about Luis Mi Cruz? God, you're so slow. You're so slow. Why are you slow? If you had like 14 pace, you'd be you'd be actually good. Yeah, Minamino got bad real quick. So we have interviewed for one job now. 
We've got the three trials. We've got Jorge Souza. Uh, okay, so those guys don't even, they're like, I want to go somewhere better. Like, okay, you do that, man. See if you get a job offer in a month, and then you call me, Yuri. And Emery John, like, where these guys think is going to, like, you would still be able to stay in the league. What? <laughs> Who better than me? No, I'm not going to get fired for applying to other jobs because I'm not declaring interest in them. And if I'm asked about them in like a phone call, I'm just going to say I don't know anything about it. Oh, is Emory John retiring? Well, that would explain that. That would, <laughs> that would explain that. Yo, Norway just dump trucked Spain. I think it's time we take a look at the Euros. So group A, we had, well, actually, let's do this in stages. So group A, we had, did I just street Ireland in the semifinals? We'll get to that later. Uh, we, had, we had France, Austria, Scotland, and Georgia. A pretty straightforward group where everybody was better than everybody else, but Scotland got through as a third place team. That's what I'm talking about. Group B, England and Spain. Oh, goodness. Wales beat Greece. Greece beat England. And England beat Spain and Wales. So this is a bit of a hopsy-turvy group. Scotland eliminated Wales by one goal difference. Scotland was three points minus two, and Wales was three points minus three. And Wales doesn't go to the knockouts because Scotland got in the way of them, and Greece doesn't go to the knockouts because they lost to Wales. It's tough out there. Group C. Norway won the group over Sweden. Oh. My. Huh? Why is Georgia in the Euros? Dude, don't sleep on Georgia. They're actually pretty good. Uh, Kvisha Kvaritskelia is not the only one. Um, Norway with seven points. Sweden with four. Netherlands and Belgium with two draws apiece, obviously, against each other. One drew Norway, one drew Sweden, and they lost to the other. They are both out. The Netherlands and Belgium missed the knockouts in a catastrophe scandinavian empire is back it's a new viking age norway with two wins and a draw over the netherlands sweden with a loss to norway but a win over the netherlands and a draw with belgium ridiculous that it's a crazy group group d slip what This is the real German national team. What is happening at the Euros? It's Ukraine, Slovenia, and Croatia through. Germany out. Jurgen Klopp in the mud. Oh, my goodness. Jurgen Flop. Slovenia with four points. So match day one was a stunning win for Ukraine over Germany, 1-0. Slovenia drew Croatia, 90th minute goal from Belio to get Croatia the draw. Then Croatia and Ukraine drew, and then in one of the most surprising results I've ever seen at a major tournament in football manager, Slovenia took an early lead and a 3-1 lead into halftime to beat Germany 3-2. And then in the final match day, Croatia drew Germany to complete their draw against all three teams. They came from behind in all the matches except the last one. And Ukraine beat Slovenia in the final match with a 61st minute goal to claim group first place. Slovenia with an amazing upset of Germany. Wow. Wow. Unbelievable. Netherlands, Belgium, Germany eliminated from the last two groups. What's an E? Fortunately, something a bit more normal. Portugal, then Ireland, then Switzerland do go through with three points and a zero. Ireland got blown out by Portugal, but won the other two matches. They lost 5-0 to Portugal. They did have a 1-0 lead, though. And Romania lost all three matches, 2-0, 3-1, and 2-0 to Switzerland, who won that last match. 
and with those goals pulled themselves into the knockouts as the Swiss do. Group F, Italy, Poland, Denmark threw a very disappointing tournament for Serbia, who finishes on zero points. Draws against Denmark and Italy at two apiece for Poland and the win over Serbia to put themselves through in second place. Italy's draw, obviously, with Poland. Denmark beat Serbia, drew Poland. That's enough for the Danes to get three Scandinavian nations through to the knockouts. Oh, baby. Well, that has opened things up with the Netherlands, Belgium, and Germany all eliminated in the freaking group stage. And that brings us to a second round that sees France beat Sweden 2-1. to one. Spain beat Austria 2-1, to one, so no upsets there. England beat Switzerland 1-0. Denmark and Norway was a round of 16 match, and Norway won it on penalties. Denmark and freaking Norway. I'm just checking to see if my boy Shelter up took one. He did not. He didn't need to. Holland, Odegaard, Mansfork, Hall, Seth, Nippon, and Holmgren, Pedersen. That was it. Hoyland made his pen. Odegaard scored in the sixth minute for the Norwegian golden team. And then one of the all-time round of 16 matchups at the Euros ever, Slovenia and Ireland won by Ireland in the 77th minute after a tremendous group stage from Slovenia. Italy predictably dominates Scotland, but hey, they got to the knockouts. Portugal wins a tough one over Croatia. And Poland beats Ukraine. Those two teams always seem to play, and Poland's won this round with a 1-0 victory. Oh, it was 96th minute. Oh, it was Bruno Fernandes in the 96th minute. This is the goal for Portugal. It was just a square it, wasn't it? Oh, it deflected to him. We know Bruno. I mean, Croatia out. One of the dark horses always for these tournaments eliminated by Portugal, which brings us to the quarterfinal. Oh, my God. It's Ireland with the win of their entire history. They've beaten Italy at the European Championships. They've beaten them fair and square. Troy Parrott assisting the winning goal scored by Jason Malumbi of West Bromwich Albion. They dominated on the day. It's Ireland to the semi-final of the European Championships. England beat France because it's England. NFM, it's what they do. It's Reese James and then Declan Rice before Kylian Mbappe pulled one back. It's what they do. And then the other stunner, Norway and Spain, and it's Holland with two first half goals. And even though they got a red in the 60th minute, it did not matter. They've beaten Spain in the semis. In the quarters, Norway and Ireland to the semifinals. Portugal and Poland face off as things are starting to open up here. It's... I Yo! It's Ireland, England in the semis. Yo! Oh, is that a... That's a disallowed goal. That's not a missed penalty. That's a uh, disallowed goal, unless my brain's playing tricks on me. So that's why I didn't mention it. It is Norway against Portugal or Poland in England, Ireland in the semifinals of the Euros. Unbelievable for the Irish golden generation led by Evan Ferguson and Troy Parrott. Wow. All right. We need an Ireland Norway final. Hey, there are uh you know there are three teams left that have never won a European championship. Sorry, four teams left. England's never won a European championship unless they have in this game. They didn't. 2024's was won by Germany who promptly left immediately. So England's never won a European championship in this universe. Oh, well, now I'm getting job offers, aren't I? 
Leverkusen and Napoli are in for Ivan Alves. I freak. Dortmund's in for Jorge Souza. We're out. Ivan Alves is also going to end up at a big club as well after Nachbred as relegation. And they're trying to make moves for my under-19 fitness coach. Uh, well, why? Oh, whoa, 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 Why would we want to do that? It's because he can't learn French. I mean, maybe. We need you to be a part of that. We want to achieve great things. You're right. This is an ambitious club. Maybe I should. Let's go, dude. Talked him right out of that. Said, uh, yo, Calvin, save your breath. I don't care about an apology. Well, I thought we were friends, Scott. Goodness gracious. That's my honest, genuine reaction. All right, International and Atletico Monero are both giving me an interview. I will handle it with the same uh, answers that I had last time. I've experienced in various other countries. Safe job, making it, taking a jump to an altogether bigger challenge. Um, all a matter of perception. Uh, you the right person to turn around an underachieving club? I can. I can be. I like to think that I have a certain allure for struggling clubs. You understand the importance of having the right staff in place? I'd like the budget to be in place for me to make it happen? Yes. Uh, challenge for Copa Libertadores. They want me to qualify for Copa Libertadores. Um, literally required. Okay. His expectations are nuts, dude. Whoa, transfer budget of only four million. I mean, the other one said forty two, so. D Dog, thank you for the 13 months, dude. Atletico Minato is bankrupt? You don't say. Make demands. How does a payroll budget of around 4.83 million sound? Are you guys joking? Like, is that it? There's no way that's what your payroll budget is. It's just not. Okay. <laughs> There's no way. Okay. Zero chance. It's not. Yeah, it's, uh, let, let's see, salary per year. It would be, yeah, you're spending $47 million a year on wages. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? The club is rich also. I think it just glitched out. So I probably bricked the interview. Um, International Al is actually paying less. Hi, how are you? Zealand. And you are? All right, we don't speak English here. Hot start.
Probably just what's left in the bank. Yeah, but we'd already done one interview where they gave us like their actual transfer and payroll budget. I got a good record when it comes to meeting expectations. I do. Let me guess. Libertadores? Ah, Copa Sudamericana. Okay. Should you be higher the expectations to qualify for the Copa Total Sudamericana? Agree. Transfer budget at $23 million, Slightly bigger. I am happy with the wage budget at $40 million, Definitely. Okay, so I'm still liking the Botafogo job the best. Paulo Enrique's gone to the prim. That's fine. Diallo, no better at playing killer through balls. Well, that's a disappointment. Oh, yeah, we're not training yet. Well, that sucks. I don't wish to comment on such matters revolving around Calvin Ramsey. Do you understand? I will give him a contract offer before the end of this summer window, and if he rejects it, we will sell him. Avoid relegation, ninth round minimum. Yes. Good deal. All right. Financially, a $21 million in the transfer budget. I still... So nobody's here. For all Alvaro Rodriguez. Nobody, nobody's around. All right, Mbabu. Ah, I see. You're interested in paying... How much was that? Like maybe I, the phone's breaking up. Nothing? <laughs> Do I look like a charity to you? Do I? Mika Faye believes he's underpaid. It's a dangerous one. Oh, there's a stay in France riot breaking out in the chat. Oh, hello. Rioting in France? Surely not. Chats in, a, in an uproar over this. Yeah, I didn't think that was going to work either. Surprise that one didn't work, though. That's a bit of an issue. How much longer has he got on his deal? Two years? Oh, it's right on the line for me. I think we both agree I'm underpaid and it makes sense for us to talk about a new contract. You have plenty of time in your current contract. It's important to me that I'm paid what I deserve. Surely you can understand that. <laughs> Addy just going with the do what you want. <laughs> the do what you want, Riot. Should uh, I was thinking about trying the proposed target, but I wanted to see how it would work when he had two years left in his contract. Manage in Egypt. It's not in the game, man. Or else maybe we would have considered it. All right. 
I'll try to walk your agent back. Go to Japan. Go wherever you get paid the most. True. I am getting paid over $600,000 a year to coach in France right now, which is a pretty sweet deal. Pretty sweet deal we got going on. I eat microplastics daily. It's getting wild in here. I think we all know that Jorge Souza is not going to sign with us. He's going to sign with Dortmund. He's very ambitious, and Dortmund is a much bigger club than we are. That makes me sad, uh, but nothing we can do about it. Wait till after the Euros. Well, then, yeah, like European jobs will open up, but like national team jobs. Oh, Lanos and uh, South America has opened up. Lotte. Botafogo is the one we like the most. Unless the letting go Monero is just money was all messed up. Go back to South Africa? I mean, chat. We're missing out on the obvious option. Go back to South Africa. So Shelter Up went up to important player. Lekovic and Lelama the Bad Boy went up to squad player. Oh, right. But Alvaro Rodriguez acknowledged that he wasn't good enough and that that probably wasn't the move. Okay. We like that. So how long is, it, is this guy not have any French? No, he's got like freaking three years to go before he's French. So not looking good, but Toulouse still want him. Fadal Bawawi on the move. Nelson Diossa. I would play Tinks. Guy always lands on his feet, you know? A weird dude. Always landing upright. Honestly, I'm going to slide that over. No Mamadou Koulibaly, no Kevin Mbabu. Everybody else gets to be a part of it. We do, you know, we've got some open spots, you know. Oh, uh, Shelly's not back yet, so I can't register him. Is is part of the initial squad for our training camp. Just wanted to bring some of the high potential guys. Marion Chavon, Gregory Vasilenko, Jordan Pasape. Anybody else down here? Jan Malo, Melvin Gill. Luan Gadek Buke. Gautier Bonifoy. Okay. All those guys, please and thank you. And shelter up when he gets back from his friggin' thing. Monty Sternier. I was missing one. All right, cool. 34 dudes and shelter up. Whenever Norway happens to be done with their European adventure that they're absolutely cooking right now. All right, chat. I mean, I look, we don't know if we're going to stay in France or not. We we have no idea. I, I would be open to moving to a giant South American club. I think particularly Botafogo draws my attention. Um, outside of a giant South American club, I don't really have 
a desire to move on. Because if we don't have a Continental Pro license, I don't think we can get a better job right now. Um, dude, you've got to be able to take less playing. Like, what is this? Mika! Dude, we're trying to sign another center back. You're not, like, that good relative to this level. Holy smokes, man. Mika! I don't want to make you an important player and lock myself into that for the rest of eternity, okay? Not what we're looking to do. Not excited about that, actually. Oh, I boofed it, though. Um, I don't want to sell him. Oh, his value is actually quite good. Oh, Galaki, I hope you had a good stream. Now, we'll see what kind of job offers and stuff are flying around. Once we, we've gotten through three of the interviews. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We should do is go through our short lists and find guys that aren't under contract anymore. Sorry, general info. Don't have a club. Everybody here does. Cool. Are these two guys that are on our loan list so we can go ahead and bring in on a uh, trial? Okay, end of contract. We either want you or we don't. So join the club for a little preseason trial and you just hang out. Oh, Zach, Zach Steffen. Woohoo! Uh, has a, a really solid player. I just, we have no need to spend our uh, foreign player spot on that particular position. Then Joel and Dalla, everybody loves the speed, Sheffield, Burton, Swansea. They're all there. And Diasso is the other one, but again, he's a foreign player in the midfield, which is just, it, just, it doesn't do it for us. Not like I, like, I don't know who's at, like how good Zach Stefan is. Just going to have him come in and join training anyways. Uh, goalkeeper of the year in France, man. Second division goalkeeper of the year for Zach Steffen. This is what he was born to do. Target acquired. We have Elieu Federa, Fayad, Al Balawi, Lon Doucette, Miguel Amadio. Seems immediately worth over 200 million. I am sick. I'm absolutely sick. Is he not even interested in me? Ty Stalinga is not even. How is he not interested in me? How is he not interested in me? I get him. He just finished a transfer. He didn't just finish a transfer, though. He's still unhappy. He's still sitting there. There's no Miguel de la Fuente. He has no transfer. These guys came to me. I didn't go to them. They came to me. Whatever. Uh, European Championship. Uh, oh, my God. It's Poland. They beat Portugal. It's actually Poland. It's Poland. There was no notable event until the penalty shootout. Ruben Neves missed the first one. Gonzalo Inacio, the center half, missed the second. Matty Cash hit the winning penalty for Poland and the Poland national teams in the European Championship semifinal. Grabara at an 8.4. Shao Felix was right in the middle. Vitinha, Neves, Randall Correa, Inacio, Silva, Diogo Dallo, Costa at a 7.6. Paul, I don't even know who this guy is. Michael Izunwane. He looks kind of nice. Kind of want to scout him. 
Sebastian Shemansky spotting up as the number 10 from Fenerbahce. Poland on penalties over Portugal. And it's all about the semifinals, England and Ireland, Poland and Norway. Poland and Norway, one of those two will be playing in the final of the European Championship. It's all there for England. It is all there for England, brother. All there. All they have to do is not bottle it against Ireland, which, like, maybe. Which, maybe. Aiden Diop. Uh, be a decent reserve grab once um, fringe player. That's a little pricey. William Weisvecker. Viderzio. Oh, okay. Obviously, dude's from Thailand. Didn't see that. Cesare Cassidy. Perfectionist loves a big match. I mean, there's actually a lot to like about Cesare Cassidy. He plays all the way up the spine. Has good size. Looks to play killer balls. It doesn't have great creativity or technique, but. Oh, it's 15 long shots. Hello. And he's kind of either footed as well. Yeah, Cassidy, who was signed by Chelsea for 15 million, loaned out four different times, never appeared for Chelsea's first team and eventually released. Sounds like the ideal player to bring in and give him an opportunity to be a part of a team, you know? There's, uh, there's a lot going on, and also a free player, which would complete our midfield completely, Cesare Cassidy. He also is actually, and this is true, the Crimson Chin. Cesare, I need you to understand something. We have some very good midfielders already on this team. Okay, Cesare Cassidy, very good midfielders. I'm not super excited about the idea of even giving you regular starter right now. We committed to another year at St. Etienne, not yet, but we are definitely doing the transfer window like we are. I can't, I can't, I can't give him important player, but I can give him that. Okay, I uh, get to the chopper. Um, okay, he's probably gonna want a relegation release clause. They have a very patient agent, which means we are gonna try and bully them and take advantage of their patience, like any good negotiator. Or not. Cesare Cassidy would be available for four point five million in the instance of a Saint Etienne relegation. We would be looking at a two point four one million per year contract. Wow. Really surprised we didn't stick that. That felt right, but it clearly wasn't. Robbie De Haas, I think it's safe to say we're just well, at the very least, we already we already know how good you are. Momom by. You're not the answer to our prayers at center back, and you're certainly not the answers to our prayer answer to our prayers at goalkeeper. You are actually bad enough that we're just going to dump you, Brian Samare. So Mattis Tournier, Melvin Gill signing. Oh yes, oh yeah, Alvaro Rodriguez to Anderlecht for a cool ten million after playing for us for one year. In my opinion, not playing well. 
Okay. You have other things we need to worry about other than the fact that I am apparently a bottle factory and everything, including contract negotiations. We can resume talks. All right, cool. I told him, look, we both know he's very interested in staying here. We should resume talks. I don't think his wage demands are unreasonable. It's just his playing time. I was being stupid. Let's take important player. If we sign another center back, we can attempt to lower his playing time to a, a level that we feel is reasonable. His relegation release clause is not bad. We're very happy to uh, you know, raise his pay by about 700000 a year. Okay with that, we needed to take care of that quickly. We already took care of Branko Vandenbaumann's uh, contract stuff. So Mika Fey, yes, improve Sousa's contract. Uh, I, look, I would be, you know what? There's no reason not to. I would be stunned if this ended up making the difference, but there's no reason not to offer Sousa some serious money. See if we can bribe him. Oh, Kremi, you offered us a job interview. Uh, oh, he's on the default list. Okay. Just wondering why I kept getting that notification. Napoli's in too. Glorious. Glorious. Grease Akamura. Available for the $8 million and somebody's willing to pay it. More power to them. Hoffenheim in for Ivan Alves. Fair. All right, we have two more job interviews in Brazil. I'm fairly adept at the language reservations regarding the fact that you've never managed in this country. Can ex you explain why that shouldn't be an issue? I have experience in various other countries. Why are you thinking of making uh, what some people will be describing as a sideways move? I'm interested in progressing my career. You have a better reputation than St. Etienne. Uh, just exploring my options. Don't I repeat of our last head coach who we parted company with earlier than expected. Uh, everyone has to win today. I've never once in my career departed after only a brief spell. Luton's up 2 0. Wait, what, what, uh, what match is going down right now? Dude, what am I, what am I doing? Oh, Premier League stuff just kicked off. Dude. Why? <laughs> It's Tuesday. Fair enough. Luton's beating Brighton 2-0. Everton and Fulham are 0-0. Nottingham Forest and Arsenal are 0-0. Okay. I did not know that was going on today. Why not? I guess so. We don't want a repeat of our last head coach, who we had to part company with earlier than expected. Right. Uh, there's no tomorrow. I'm good at motivating people. What sort of budget would I need? A decent one. But you're also in 19th, so I'm going to need, like, I'm going to need you guys to make a pitch to me. Qualify for the Sud America. Bro. You're in 19th. You want to... Sure. Transfer budget in nearly $40 million. Um, That's actually quite good. Wage budget. I need a slightly bigger wage budget if I'm going to take the job. But seriously, you guys are in 19th. But the problem is everybody in Brazil qualifies for like, yeah, all I have to do is get to 13th and I'm qualifying for freaking a uh, continental competition. So it ain't that bad. Fair enough. Vasco da Gama, what do you have for me? Present me the glorious stuff. I'm fairly adept at learning new languages. I uh, develop reputation of applying to different jobs. Yeah, well, you know, my record speaks for itself. Com performing up to the level of competition. They want me to promise that I'll be there for a while. I don't know. You are you and Gremio are the two three-and-a-half-star clubs, so I'm not quite as excited about you guys. The four-star clubs I am, because you'll be able to throw me like a million dollars a year. Uh... I know. Avoid relegation. Wow, you guys don't really have the same vision, do you? That's kind of crazy. Sure. I... Dude, there's no way a transfer budget of $2.45 million is what you'd be giving me. I'm happy with your wage budget of over $43 million. 
There's no way. I'm going to sidestep questions about Gremio and Vasquez. So apparently the four-star jobs might be out of my reach. I've interviewed for two of the four-star jobs, and we didn't get any notifications. I'd have to see the contract offer and everything from the three-and-a-half-star jobs to see if I'd want to go to Brazil for that. I don't know. I don't know if we'd want to take that. I mean, obviously, I'll have to see all the money in the offer in front of me. So the scout did leave. I actually need to go sign another scout. Roy Bokenkamp. Dude, Roy Bokenkamp's actually a god scout. I am familiar with Roy Bokenkamp's game. And we do have Gaetan Laclef. So we can just go get both these guys. Some Brazilian scout. Screw it. He's got the knowledge. Wagner Cavalcante. Please tell me he came in as a scout. Yeah, okay. I was like, is he, uh, his preferred job's head of youth development. But he understood the assignment. He knew where the opening was. So we had an offer for one, and then we had a guy whose deal ran out. So got to replace those two members of our scouting department. So Alvaro Rodriguez is going to be on the move out, which is nice. Oh, my God. Friendly with freaking Iowa. Well, don't let them schedule friendlies if they're going to have freaking league matches pop up later. I will play Dortmund. That is who I would like to play. Make $120 million from that match. Million. Yes. No, thousand. 120000 Luca Herrleinen, third division of Germany. That's a stud for the third division of Germany. Are you kidding me? Do, 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 do. Anthony Ruol, Charlevoix. Um, there's a deal to be made. It has to be right for the club. If Ruol wants to leave to Charlevoix, I want like 15 million. I get 15 million. I'm going to feel good about it. Okay. And, you know, then we'll start, start thinking about moves. Ukachuk, we rejected that move. Here's what I'm thinking. The moment I sign this guy, they're going to be like, oh, what a great deal. Are you interested in going uh, to our club by chance? I don't have enough midfielders. I need more, clearly. 450,000 for Victor Ukachuk, the 19 year old in Ganch from Nigeria. Greiser, thank you so much for the five gifted subs, brother. Thank you for making five people's days and supporting the stream. They want a loan back? No, we're going to bring him into uh, France. Thank you. He said, yeah, yeah I, I think he's one of these guys that when we sign him, my staff's going to be like, wait, he's either footed, sees the field super well, not a bad athlete. He's clearly not a good one. He's not going to step in and be a star, but I think, he, you know, at the price point, He's a really good deal. Don't want to let the guy just sit in Nigeria wasting away. Victor Okachukwu. I saw him reject that other contract. I thought he was already moving. But I'm over here and I'm like, dude, let's, uh, let's make a play. Let's make a play. Let's step up to the plate and make a play in the transfer. They're in the final. Norway's in the final. Norway has beaten Poland 2-1, and it is going to the Euros final. Sheldrup played 37 minutes off the bench. The finals, England and Norway. Oh, the match was close. Oh! It was a Rashford pin in the 95th. Dude, the riots in the streets. 2-0 lead, Mason Mount double for England in the first half. Then Ferguson and Zephy level it for Ireland. They were very much in this game.
the Euros semifinal, Ireland on the all-time run, and they nearly did it. It was a 95th minute penalty. Let's see the call. Rashford obviously cashed it to send England to its first ever Euro final. But I want to see the call. I want to see the call. Was it the right call? I mean, the guy, like, he's not first to the ball there. Calver Lew <laughs> Calvert Lewins, it's, it's tight. It's a tight one there. Ireland 2 2 against England in the 95th minute. I, I mean, yeah, it's probably a pen. It's brutal. Norway had the lead. Sebastian Shemansky scored. And then in the 92nd minute, it's Norway, Poland in a Euro semifinal. The opportunity of a lifetime for these two teams to put one of themselves into the final. And it's a free kick off the post that kicks free to Christopher Iyer, who puts Norway in the lead. So two extra time drama plays. No, I'm serious. England, oh, it's not their first ever final because that whole thing with Italy actually happened in real life. So it's not their first ever final because that was their first ever European championship final because I remember that. And it's Norway versus England in the final of the Euros. What a run from the Norwegians. No, I, I mean, I obviously remember. I just, I hadn't filed it away as, like, because that was a fun fact for so long that England had never even made the final of the Euros, and then they finally did. It was Germany, France last time, but that is, that ain't happening now. That ain't happening now. Prize in Denmark. Hey, you guys made the knockouts. One of the best third place teams. You got a transfer offer. Oh, Kawan got an offer. But Ghani Kumalo. I actually love this offer. I want to lock that and see if we can try like 50%. Uh, they're willing to pay 40% of Bengani Kumalo's wage, but they're willing to also give him important player playing time. I'm going to offer him out and see if we can get 100% in regular starter. Outside of that, we will just accept that offer. Okay. Pay's happy with his new deal, four-year deal. Sticking it out. Team in place at St. Etienne. I got to blow the old schnoz. No, I'm just kidding. Excuse me. Did I check the Serbian center back, Lekovic? He played well in League One. He, you know, he played well enough. Oh, yeah. Oops. Uh, Lekovic dropped a, well, he made 22 appearances for Claremont foot and had a 6.82, but you know, he got the experience. I see. I see the watch the final riot. I do. I promise I do. The 
He's really not bad. I, I feel like we should be able to get some good value for Errol Shimshir if we look to move him on. When's this transfer go through? July 14th. Wondering what was happening there. Nuno Lima floating around for a potential loan. I still think he's decent. I don't know why. We're all anti-Nuno Lima out here. So Shelderup is going to miss the friendly because he's playing in the friggin' final. Fair play, dude. Very fair play. Who is the striker with the way the team is set up right now? We don't have one. Oh, no, we do. It's Mokowina. All right, and then we've got like Nuno Lima, guy guys that we know are on the team. Just to set up our bench for friendlies. Shimshir, no. Lekovic, yes. Amugu, yes. Luis Torres and for Lorenzo Sage. Is the guy that starts up there. Okay, sweet. Wally, thank you for the gifted sub, dude. I appreciate you. I when when is the so the last match was the freaking sixth, which means the finals probably like the thirteenth. Oh, is uh yes. Okay, Morocco and South Africa have kicked off. Morocco is the last remaining African team in AFCON that was at the World Cup a year ago. They are the last remaining team that was at the World Cup, and they are playing a very capable opponent in South Africa. This is not an easy match. Sheffield's taking the lead over Crystal Palace. They are up 1-0. That'd be a huge result for them. European Football Championship. Um, I'll buy a ticket. Now, that's not fair, dude. Norway only gets two days off before the final. Who scheduled that? Who scheduled that nonsense? All right, this is ridiculous. I would like to speak to the manager. It's rigged. Norway got one less day off. It's rigged. Do I plan to stay at St. At the end? Like 50 50 right now. Some pretty good Brazilian jobs opened up, but they need to give us a nice contract, right? They'd need to give us a good wage budget and everything. We've done some interviews with some Brazilian teams. We're waiting to hear back, but it's, it's dependent on kind of what they'd want to. Uh, Kulabali can. Leave me alone. Now there are, wait, 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 wait. There's some things I wanted to do. One, Alain Diallo, where are you? Two things, Alain Diallo, training, uh, technical and passing. Try killer balls, never possible. And then where's our other guy, our striker, Cabello Mokoena? Um, mental movement. Stop coming deep to get the ball. Look, if you just teach him to get, uh, beat the offside trap, then I don't care. If he can do that and drop deep to get the ball, then he can just make the decision what he wants to do. Can he not do that if he has this? If he drops deep to get the ball? That might be a thing. That or it's uh, it's not in finishing.
Luton up two, Luton, Luton's up two nil against Brighton. Yeah, we've we know. They, I mean, hey, I am all for. I don't know where that would put the Premier League's like table. I love fun relegation battles almost more than I love fun title battles. Like you, you know, win for Luton, Everton's in the spicy zone. Sheffield's looking like it's gonna pick up some point. <laughs> Burnley is going to go down, but hey, they'll get promoted the next year. It'll be totally fine. Burnley's on its way. Uh, uh, uh. Where is this freaking thing? It's not in technique. It should be in movement. Dribble down the right, dribble down the left, dribble down the right. Try and dribble through the center. Move into channels. Play with back to goal. Stop coming deep. Run with the ball more often. Run with the ball occasionally. A few more one-twos. Knock the ball past the opponent. Stay inside the penalty area. Is there no beat offside trap anymore? No, I know. I'm not looking for stop coming deep. I want beat off side trap. Or is it literally in there that like try and get that off him so he can beat the off side trap with his great off the ball genius. All right, so I have, we have to do that and then do the other one, and I don't know if he'll be able to do that. So Alain Diallo is drawing transfer interest, mainly because they think he's worth only a million. I think he's worth a lot more than that. So I'm not really excited by the idea of, of selling him. Mbabu available for loan. Well, then make the offer, dude. Alvaro Rodriguez for 10 million would be sick. I'd love that. I would. Okay, we got one of our, uh, one of our scouts, Wagner Cavalcanti, is in. Alvaro Rodriguez for $10 million. Got a million dollars from Mamadou Koulibaly's sale. The money will be all right. The kids will be all right. Uh, Mercil Kurtz on the move. Sweet. Ryan Giles. Dude just likes hanging out on the left and scooping the ball across. I don't know what to say. Kovacevic. Okay. He's okay. Do you still feel transfer outs are unrealistic? FM can't be uh can't seem to get any good offers for my best player. No, I think that this is the most realistic football manager when it comes to transfers that's ever been made. I think that, you know, it's not like uh Maidstone wouldn't like to have Harry Maguire. It's that Maidstone can't pay Harry Maguire's wage, and Harry Maguire has no interest in playing at Maidstone. Those are the reasons that like if your best player can't move. There's a lot of factors outside of, oh, here's a good player. How many teams would want this player on their team? Right? There are other factors. All right, this dude is jump man, but taller. But, sorry, not taller, but better at other stuff. Denny's ghoul of the Swedish national team at Wolfsburg has some distinct jump man qualities, but he's stronger and faster and smarter. We're going straight target acquired list on Denise Ghoul. Juan Jose Perez looks like a player. Looks like a real player. Pretty sweet. Grisa Camara. Yeah, somebody else is in on him already, aren't they? My memory serves correctly. Somebody else is making that move. Wolfsburg. Ah! No goal in Morocco, South Africa. No goal in these four. But I did I imper that was that a good representation of what you were typing? I hope. All right, Keke Almeida. 
Ah, oh, you silly left-footed center backs that I just aren't a lot of you guys around. You know, I'm just super into it. Shaka Torre, hello. And you are? Oh, I see we've finished scouting him, but determined no value uh, and no interest. But I love the movement. I love the athleticism. The ball control. Rise this dude's not in the Ivory Coast national team. He seems certainly good enough. I'm gonna hang a uh, I'm gonna hang an inquiry in there. I don't know what they would you know we our report didn't give us a lot to work with. I don't know exactly what they'd be expecting, but I'm I'm into it. All right, Gaston Alvarez. So he, yeah, he's asking to leave, but he's valued at like $17 million, which makes him positively absurd to try and go for. Joel Indala. Not using my... Actually, does he have an African... He has DR Congolese citizenship, so he would not be foreign... He has a slight interest in playing for us. Ah, screw it. I can't resist the temptate. I can resist that temptation. Did not expect that to work at all, but it did. You're going to have to make a significantly better offer. My client's going to walk. Well, then start walking. That's all you're good for anyways, dude. I'll explore it. He is a unique player. He moves very quickly. I like those guys. He moves at great speed. <laughs> My man moves with speed. Problem is, I guess, non EU, but he would. We already know about him. He'd be a. If we have an EU spot at the end of the window, we're like, yes. I want to go for this guy. I think it would make sense, but not this early in the window. Pachuca, Jose Hurtado. Have to be better than that. Unfortunately, Jose, you have to be better than that. Joel Indala was the slayer of the mid-table team. He does ha he gives off a very noob stomper vibe. If you can't keep up with that pace, I think the big difference between him and Tapella Maseko, who we had on the Great Orlando Pirates team, who is a great example of how to use like just a speed guy uh, that didn't have a lot of other skill, is he actually has very good finishing. He's got a natural ability to put the ball in the net. Fourteen finishing. So once he gets around somebody, he can actually do something with it. Like he's a top speed and just gets it gets himself in on goal. He, he's fairly reliable finisher, which is nice. I didn't really like play tanks when we had a uh, we had him on our team earlier. Not a fan. I'm standing up, chat. I'm rising and shining. Ugh. 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 
Osman Bakari. Hey, we finally finished the report. I want to finish the report on that friggin' left back from Argentina. He looked like a serious beast. We could just play with a ton of pace. Like, it's in every position, just rolling out Osman Bakari, rolling out the other guy. He's already under a bid. Kelvin Ovens got 3.5 on him. Keep an eye on it. Where's Monty Alley? Probably is in this report. We prioritized his scouting through the last cycle. He's probably on the scouting report. Facundo Caceres. Caceres. He's Portuguese. Game on. Now I just get to assess him and go, I think you're okay. Rafael Obrador, Leo Castledine. Hey, you already a bunch of offers. Nemanja Maksimovic. I mean, dude, I've already got one old playmaker on my team. I don't know if I need another one, although he does everything really well. Why a bunch of teams already want him. Oh, my favorite month-to-month -month contract on a weird midfielder that has a completely unpredictable skill set. A high-jumping reach shadow striker with no flair that doesn't quite like big matches. I don't see it. I don't see it. Dude's playing in the domestic league of Algeria. I'm sure he's destroying that, but he's certainly not good enough for me. Not right now. The FIFA way. Yeah, just I'm just gonna go with the. Uh, I'm just gonna go with the fast guys. Please and thank you. And then the people that are made, you know, like EA just trying to find out a way to make non-fast guys good so that people actually use them sometimes. So you're a central defender, Javi Sanchez. Is that correct? Yes. And you only have eight aggression, which is wild. And you're too expensive and you're old and I'm not certainly not spending 12 million on you, but we might have use for another center back. Burke Karacha. Karaka. Karaja. Karaja. Sweet. Is the first video on the new channel out yet? I uh, know. The, the first video on the new channel will be in the next few days. Yeah, we know that Luton's up. We've got all the scores up here. Did not know Crystal Palace had equalized. Eberi Eze. Easy. Cookies. Crystal Palace not giving points away to Sheffield United. They'll probably... I say that as Sheffield United scores. So... <laughs> we got a big chance coming through for Sheffield United that might make me look like a fool. I'm like, oh, Crystal Palace won't let any points go against Sheffield United. Nope, there it is. Sheffield United 2-1. Easy. Fulham Everton at nil. Arsenal and Nottingham Forest at nil. Aston Villa and Newcastle at nil. Morocco, South Africa in the AFCON at nil. It's all to play for right now. Rosangelo Dahl. Now when you hate big matches like that, you don't. Rogelio Cortez, Vamos, Milos Savalievich, Ibuzane, sweet, Ashraf Dari, sweet, Marcos Paulo. They really like him, and I'm trying to figure out why. He's like, okay. Seriously, he's just okay. Now, where is 
That freaking left back. I know we're looking at other guys that we finished scouting. Ron Wynn Williams. He's still a good shot stopper. He's just such a bad athlete at 36 that I can't do it anymore. Oh, wow. Six strength. Sorry, that's just too weak. Rabbi Matondo. Arhan Masovic. Okay. Dylan Aquino. Hating on the big matches. Abdel Sebi. No. Jan Mallet. Of Suriname. Nice. Classic American Graham Sanders. I didn't know any of these guys were previously scouted, but that makes me sad. Khaled Ashkar. Hmm. Geronimo Spina. I thought he had two first touch for a second. I was like, this guy is a disaster waiting to happen. Torben Ryan. Wow. Perfect either footedness is so rare. This guy can drop dimes with both both feet. Perfect. Holland, congrats. Congrats on that semifinal. Super sorry you didn't make it to the final, but now we have Norway and England that I am we're watching tomorrow. Rodrigo Mora. Hmm. Dude actually can play center back all the way through to central midfield. Very, uh, very curious there, my man. Very curious. Also has a European nationality, so we'd be able to make that work registration-wise. Vladan Golvashevich. On to the target acquired list for sure. Better goalkeeper than what we have right now. Very competent, very large. Martin Pass. Also better than what we have right now. Playing for Deportivo Toluca, which is not what I would have thought. One point one million's a no brainer for Julian Lopez. Oh, Bravo got a freaking red card. We actually uh, kept it interesting after that, but gave up a couple of goals. Dude, it's a friendly. Stop. <laughs> Don't have to get too carried, carried away here. It is a friendly. Bravo. A friendly. I'll look at that. Julian Lopez. How much the agent was saying that he was worth. Uh, we have so many guys in this category. I'll move him. We'll upgrade him to the highest level of shortlist, but I'm not going yet. I'm not going yet. We found a starting keeper yet? No. No, we have not. What is Warren Zaire Emery doing here? Yeah, everybody's interested in the transfer. Nobody wants to pay $25 million for the guy. But this guy, on the other hand, he's $12 million. It's the deal of a lifetime, and he doesn't want to play for me. Bah! Infuriating!
Uh, Ivan Alves has like four offers from European level clubs. We're not getting him. Even if we could, we have a couple of guys in his position already that we that we like. We are going after that Portuguese winger, Jorge Souza. We're ending up with Stefan again. Oh. He loves you, though? No, he clearly doesn't. Dude, it has to be, like, some money. Okay, I'm not just, like, the point of the loan, I'm not trying to develop a 34-year-old, all right? We're not working on developing him. Ryboke in camp for Gaetan Leclef. Making our scouts better. Hell yeah, dude. All right, Indala, Kachukwu, Shaka, Traores, in Corey, Jorge, Sousa, Boykin Camp. We are confirming. I haven't even heard back on the friggin' inquiry yet. I guess it was literally a day ago, so maybe cut him some slack. Uh, Santiago Montiel is under a freaking bid. So I, even though we're not done with this yet, I am going to try and make a move for him because I really like this guy and think he's really good. Ah, uh, fine. I ended up at the exact same point that they were out. Misawage. Erhan Masovic. Masovic. Rebi Matondo. All right. All right. Can I ask for more scouts? Well, just just while we're here, um, scouts allowed? No, I can't. But I can't ask for more performance analysts. Huge, massive. All right. You already speak French. That's awesome. Stories leaked, but they're down to talk. Monsiel would be my left back, which would be great. Come on, Santiago. Come play in Europe. Everybody loves it over here, dude. Del Canal is fairly indifferent towards me. Well, Del Canal can suck an egg, all right? I heard playing for us is better than hanging out over there. So we would solve our left back question with the signing of a very, very good player. 3-0, Luton, are you serious? Crystal Palace equalized again. It's, you know, Eberi, as, uh, he, yep, yeah, Eze's all right. He's okay. He's okay. Luton is up 3-0 over Brighton. It's a catastrophe for Brighton and Hove Albion, all of them. Huge catastrophe. Morocco and South Africa still level at nil. Victor Okachukwu is agreed to sign for 450000 Dude's a flare monster. Opens the, opens the matchup. Either footed, cr uh, just creative force and then an attacking midfield role. Can't really do anything else. Never will do anything else in his career but a fun player worth a lot more than 450000 that I am happy to bring in that if used appropriately can blow open another team. So welcome to the team, Victor Okachukwu. And would you look at that? Turns out his potentials, uh, huh. how should I say this? A little higher little higher than you would have thought because my staff says his potential ability is a full five star. We'll see who's right in the long term. Uh, but Victor Okachukwu is definitely coming into the senior team, brother. Definitely coming into the senior team. So Victor Okachukwu, now I'm in control of your, uh, your training. Yeah. Probably just still assuming that I am, uh, there we go. Just on that screen, it assumed he was still in the younger group. So Shimshir, Kagan, and Mbabu, nothing. Got it. I get that nobody wants Mbabu. Um, we do have uh, 
We have our whatever they're called on the way out trying to find a solution. Our intermediary. You'd prefer to stay at St. Etienne. Oh, let's go, dude. You guys ready for the European final? That we're not, that we are, that we're, we're not managing it. We're not managing it. But um, England and Norway is the European championship. And how could we not watch this? Norway has made it and Erling Holland have made it to the European championship final. Taking on an England team that survived Ireland who somehow made it to the semifinal. Norway beat Poland, but they also beat Spain in the quarterfinal. Finished top of a group with the Netherlands, Belgium, and Sweden. They've been very good. England's 11, Rashford, Mount, Bellingham, Sterling, Ward, Prowse, Rice, Chilwell, Caldwell, Stone, James. Norway going with Holland. Genyar, Schilderup! Odegaard, Hansen, Aronson, Mansverk, Bjorken, Ostig. I didn't get through it, but it is Odegaard. It is shelter up. It is Holland. St. Etienne represented on the field in the European Championship final. Oh, wait. Yeah, we got to break out Clive. You ready? Welcome to the European Championship final. It's England and Norway. David versus Goliath. Both searching for their first ever European Championship. One, it would be a coronation. The other, the surprise of the century in this European Championship competition, which seems to happen multiple times a century. Oh, God, all saved by Ramsdale. Ah, I'm Clive Livingsworth. Welcome to the uh, the broadcast here it's we're on uh, sky sports 8 this is the official tajikistan european championship broadcast thank you so much for joining us and it's norway in the red england in those traditional white kits contesting a european championship out there this evening the second ever appearance in a european championship final for england the first one ended in heartbreak and here's holland shoulder up Trying to bring a bit more of that heartbreak to England. Shelter up now. Mansverk up towards Fjörhelder. And it's saved by Ramsdale, but it's one-way traffic right now for Norway. It's been all Norway in the opening 13 minutes. Odegaard's gone short for Andreas Shelter up. Genkia, Colwell with a desperate clearance. The English under siege, and they've been significantly outpossessed in the early going England. Sterling and is up towards Mason Mount, all saved by Rugland Ree, and there might be a counter here for Norway. It's Erling Haaland, Andreas Schelder up. What a save from Rugland Ree, and Rhys James ends the attack. Oh, it's a big moment there for England to try and open things in the European Championship final. They've got Bellingham playing out on the wing as he has most of the tournament to make room for Rice and Ward-Prowse in the midfield. And that is where Ward-Prowse is in this team for is this set piece goes for goal and Ruglan Re makes the save for Norway. Ward-Prowse. He's got big targets to aim for. Erling Haaland, not the one he had in mind. Mansverk clears it. And James Ward-Prowse has played his way into the England team for this cycle. 
England survived France in the quarterfinals. Ireland by a goal in the semis. 95th minute penalty. It was unconvincing, but enough. Holmgren Pedersen. Ginga. Ginga. He's got work to do. He's found Odegaard. Up to Holland. Oh, saved by Ramsdale. A big left hand from Ramsdale to keep us level. Odegaard. Balls for Schelder up. Hansen and Bjorken can run in now. James doing yeoman's work at right back. Reese James, and this has been back and forth action to halftime. Nil nil Norway and England with the Euros on the line. This is the final of the European Championship. Both seeking their first ever title as the Kings of Europe. Jude Bellingham on for Chilwell. That should be easy, and it is for Ruglan Ree. Made a crucial save in the first half. Fjord held up. Bjorkan. This is a good little run from Bjorkan. For Hansen Erwin in Odegaard. And oh, it opened up splendidly, but he made a mess of it. It was there for Odegaard. He just passed it right to the England defence. Now up towards Rashford. The danger man, Jude Bellingham. He's got a pocket of space. He's got Rashford! And he's hit the hands of Ruglan Ree. Brave goalkeeping from Ruglan Ree. The best chance for England in the entire match. Made by Bellingham and Rashford. Ward Prowse. Right to Stones. Oh, tipped away. And the referee's blown the match dead. It might be a handball. It's a handball on the corner against Norway. It's Bjorkan, the guilty party. And it's a penalty for Marcus Rashford, and he scored it. Marcus Rashford puts England in front in the Euro final. He scored the 95th minute penalty to beat Ireland in the semis. Then he scores the penalty to lead Norway in the final. But Norway have had their chances. They're not done. It's Mansverk on the corner. Mansverk towards Holland. Scuttled away. Shelder up will chase it down for the Norwegians who need a goal. Ginga settles with a touch. Holmgren Pedersen on for Mansverk. Wide for Borset. Borset driving on. Energy to the Norwegian attack. Shelder up. Ginga! We are level! Dennis Ginga! A wonderful goal for the Norwegians. And the English, for the second time in three euros, have had a lead extinguished in the final. It's shelter up of Saint Etienne. I've heard their coach is devilishly handsome with the assist. It's been level, it's been tough. Rashford's penalty, Gengar's finish, and it's all square. 15 minutes to play between England and Norway. A goal to win the Euros. The increasingly likely scenario towards Jude Bellingham and Ruglan Rees there. Anticipated where that header was going. It was heavily contested at the back post. Kjelsen, Holmgren Pedersen. Sorloff. It's just fresh into the game on the right side. Odegaard continuing to work, the captain for his nation. Up to Haaland. Oh, it's won by Calvin Ramsey, who's been a revelation in this tournament. And he might not be done here, Calvin Ramsey. Declan Rice. Rice! Always like the save by Ruglan Ree. But a testy hit from Declan Rice. England with the late set piece towards Calvert-Lewin. 
Plenty of tall characters in that. Five minutes to potentially decide a European champion now. Norway and England. Their goals separated by just a few minutes. Chilwell. Oh, it's misplayed by Borset. Sterling's in behind. And to Ramsey. Blocked by Kielsen. Oh, Kielsen with a heroic last stand. How in the world has he got his body in front of the shot from Ramsey? Bellingham still running his head off. He's won the ball for England. And Raheem Sterling in the 90th minute. On towards Ramsey. And Bellingham saved by Ruglan Ree. <sighs> Kelson. Able to clear it in extra time is beckoning between Norway and England in the final of the Euros. Big moments for Ruglan Ree in the Norwegian goal. The exhaustion setting in after a long tournament for both these sides. Calvin Ramsey is one of those bright introductions off the bench that could make the difference. Declan Rice. Oh, Declan towards Bellingham. Moy at the post. Jude Bellingham's aerial prowess has been a factor late in this match. And he hits the post on the off, Carlsbach. Sarau, oh, he's opened it up for Carlsbach. The lanky winger, Carlsbach for Sorloth. Keeping Ramsdale involved. Now it's a set piece for Calvin Phillips. Oh, miscommunication between Ayer and Ruglan Ree as Ayer clears that out for a corner to give England some more pressure. Extra time in the Euro final. Calvin Phillips, Ward Prowse no longer out there. He was subbed off. Phillips driving in. Phillips blocked always. Chilwell, Stones into the first row. Now, yeah, no, it's Jacob Ramsey. I just don't know my Ramseys. You're right. It's the Villa player. It's the attacking midfielder. It's not, it's not the one on my team. I'm just saying words. Second half of extra time. Penalties growing closer by the second. Is there a hero out there for Norway or England? It's been a very good match. England's had the better of it since about the 80th minute. They've shown a bit more oomph in their substitutions. Unsurprisingly, with the depth of their pool. It's Bellingham. Oh, what a save by Ruglan Ree. And what a match for the Norwegian keeper in these last 30 minutes. That was on target from Jude Bellingham. Oh, that would have been something special from Calvert-Lewin. He did get to it first. Is it the ultimate drama? Or is there an ultimate drama before the penalties? Carl's box at the back post. Oh, my. It went right to the hands of Ramsdale. And Carl's Bach will be haunted by that. It's Calvert-Lewin on. Yes, he's, he's in there. Calvert-Lewin in space. He snuck in behind. Ramsey. Oh, it hit the bar. Jacob Ramsey. If it's on target, it might be saved, but there's going to be another set piece here. It's a loose foot from Sorloth. Jacob Ramsey nearly. And now Calvin Phillips to win the Euros. He does! Calvin Phillips! <laughs> Calvin Phillips to win the Euros! It's deflected. They don't care. Shirley, the last kick. Unbelievable redemption story. The man who never plays makes the biggest play. And England are European champions for the first time. They've beaten Norway in dramatic fashion.
it's Calvin Phillips who's done it. The pain of 2021 undone in 2028, whatever we're in. Dang. What a match. What a match. I thought it was going to penalties for, for all the world. But England was the better team in extra time. They had the deeper bench. It ended up making the difference. They get one more set piece. And Calvin Phillips slots it. Hits it well. Deflected off the wall. 121st minute. Euros winner. And it's England. It's England that won it. U.S. players retire. Z Zach Steffen is retired from the U.S. national team. Buddy, they didn't want you anymore, but I appreciate it. Shelter up, had an assist, and played 67 minutes. I mean, that's what we can hope for, dude. That's what we can hope for. I was at Celtic Park for these Scottish Euros. Yeah. Oh. So I do want to look up Ruglan Ree because he was balling. Viking goalkeeper Magnus Ruglan Ree. Dude's a shot stopper. No kidding. Oh, he's owned by Sporting, but they loaned him back to the Norwegian League. Well, he's clearly an elite goalkeeper. So we've thrown a scout on Ruglan Ray, obviously. Bruno, thank you for the 10 months, dude. Congratulations to the English in the chat. Commiserations to the Norwegians and everybody else who was probably rooting for the Norwegians, but... England has its first European championship in 2028. And we have Shelter up back, finally. Just buy him without this. Like, we literally need a goalkeeper. We might just buy Magnus Ruglin Ray. Because we, we, I mean, we legitimately actually need a goalkeeper. Uh, why do I have to fill out the friggin' preliminary training squad, training camp squad? It doesn't even freaking matter. I, you know, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. What's the point? Wally! With the 10 gifted subs, dude. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Thank you for gifting so many subs today. Chad, show some love to Wally for throwing down 10. Pig Riser gifted five. I believe I saw that. I just wanted to make sure I said thank you just in case. But Wally, thank you for the 10 gifted subs, brother. Enjoy the ad-free experience. If you caught one of those gifted subs, make sure you get in the subsection of the Discord. You really got to sign Re. I we, we threw a scout on him. We should prioritize it probably because we actually do need a goalkeeper. Now, Alvaro Rodriguez is about to leave for 10 million, so I would not. Uh... We have a bunch of really bad options for free kick takers. Nice. He's wanting an improved contract. I don't know, Stefan. You weren't on the team last year, so that's a pretty bold claim. Now, if we can get eight to nine million for him. We signed him for a million last year, and he played one. Like, I would take that. I think we could do a lot more with eight to nine million than he's able to give us. We'll be open to talking to other clubs. All right, well, let's explore that. I don't want, you know, I don't want to anger him or anything, but. Gerald Shimshire moving down to emergency backup is uh, perfectly fine. Does he have an agent? He might not. Yeah, he does. So he, he is aware of the fact that he probably shouldn't be on this team, apparently. 
There's no opinion on my strong, you know, the squad's strong feelings of loving me as a head coach. Okay. Right, these are B team guys, Aim and Ike. Mario Martin, what's up, dude? Oh, don't get worse, Jacques. Don't get worse. That Nigerian Victor Okachukwu, my freaking coaching staff is tremendously excited about him. You can never trust those potential stars all the way. You just can't. They're really, really, really tricky this year. Yeah, I'm saying we have no doubt the quality he possesses. I think it's fair and realistic to look at the long-term benefits of this deal. Yes. It's been thoroughly scouted. Um, have to be patient, see what he brings. Gonna give him a warm welcome. That was a long press conference for a youngster, but all right. Arsenal have taken the lead. Oh, dude. In the 66th minute of play. Okay. Newcastle's beating Villa 2 0, which is brutal for Villa. The only match without a goal now is Fulham and Everton. And Morocco, South Africa is nil nil at halftime for your AFCON update. Suzuki just did a loan to Tottenham with a 2.8 million future fee deal, which is crazy. Andre Gomez speaks fluent French. No, the intermediaries weren't able to find a deal for him. That's crazy. That's the first time I've run into that. The wonder kid that we brought out of the fourth division of Portugal has moved to Hoffenheim for a deal of $27.5 million that could eventually rise to $40 million depending on meeting certain clauses. Hoffenheim is in Europe. They finished fifth in the Bundesliga last year. It's a great move. Dude, we didn't get the Monero job. Uh, right, they didn't want to accept the change. So Monero was not the job that we were the most excited about, but we got rejected from it. Um, good on him. Yeah, it's a good move for him. We're happy with that. It's a good move for him. Oh, sweet. Okachuku is going to the Olympics. Oh, I can't breathe. Oh, you fraud. What? You turned it down? even talking about dude what are you even talking about well they want 30 million for shaka Traore. i am not going to be able to negotiate a good deal out of that you rejected a move to anderlecht that's right that is your level alvaro you will thrive and be a good player there for a long time wait was it matt turner's fault again Wait, did Luton score again? Oh, they are vibing right now. Luton is vibing. I told you these teams don't want me, dude. I didn't change the league expectations in that interview. These teams, they don't want me, man. That's every good player I find a midfielder. Like, seriously. Dude is somebody that we would absolutely be interested in moving in on. Abuklaw's freaking 40 million. Yeah, I'd say these Brazilian teams, they don't even want me. I'm going to end up at St. Antienne. 
again, because they're over here. Like, they're setting pretty unrealistic expectations. Wow, we actually got him. We actually got Joel and Dalla. I did not think we were going to get him. He rejected uh, Swansea, Sheffield, and Burton Albion. And he said he wants to come play for us. And this dude, honestly... <laughs> Bro. He hates big matches, but so did Tapello Maseka. We've had success in this save of making use of very fast guys <laughs> that just attack the outside continuously. This guy attacks the outside. He's smarter than Tapello Maseko. He plays wing. You don't need to be smart when you're on the outside. He tries tricks. He gets the ball into his feet, and he like you know he attack he he attacks who he's going at. He's a one trick pony, but he's got a great trick. <laughs> you know, he has a great trick, and he actually knows how to cross and finish, which is really weird for a guy like this. Yeah, no, he has cuts in from the left wing. He's an inverted winger on the left and a winger on the right. He can do either. He's comfortable on both sides. He already speaks French. He's not a foreign uh, player. He's, he counts as EU because he's DR Congo second nationality. He'll probably turn into a DR Congo international because I don't think England's quite within his reach. He was, you know, he's been playing fairly regularly. He was playing in the championship the past two years. So the guy's not, you know, he has experience playing senior matches. Yeah, he's, he's really dangerous when he picks up the ball. He's quite creative. He's got that determination there as well. You just got to get the, like, he's not going to battle for the ball in the air, and he's not like a great pressing presence in the outside. But if he can get the ball into his feet, he actually is he's very dangerous. It's not going to be a part of elaborate build-up play, but... Dude, I swear, I like this guy. I think I can make something of this. I, I think this guy can be a real impact player for us. Especially off the bench, you're tired, and you get 20 minutes of Joel and Dalla in your face. Like, Oh, he's, he's not a starter. He's not a starter. He's a sub and a noob stomper when we're, you know, like, he can spot start. He's not a starter. 3.3 3 for uh, 3.3 3 million for that. Uh yeah, and wage. We're not he's free. We're not paying there's a zero, you know. We're paying 450,000 as like fees for the deal, but it's zero um like he's free. Yo, Arsenal just scored again. 2-0, baby. I just saw it pop up on my other screen. How's Maseko nowadays? I actually have no idea. Still in the Pirates, baby. Still on the Pirates. To Bella Maseko. So, but he had the four work rate, and he hated big matches. That was the issue with him. Worse ball control, worse finishing. Actually a better passer, though. But he hated big matches, was inconsistent, had four work rate and four determination, which is way lower than what we're working with on this guy, obviously, but we're at a lower level. Was it Turner again? Was it old Captain America again? Wasn't his fault. All right. He's certainly out of form right now. He's in terrible form. But it's honestly a miracle that Matt Turner is even, like, it's insane the level he's been able to reach. Like, if you know Matt Turner's story, he never should be anywhere near where he is right now. 
The dude was, he didn't even get a scholarship offer to play college soccer in the U.S. He had to walk on at Fairfield, which is like a really small college team. And then played his, and then didn't get drafted into MLS and had to come up through the reserve, like got signed as an undrafted player by the reserve team for the, for uh, the revolution. And then he had to work his way up to that start. Like Matt Turner has grinded so hard to get where he is. Like that dude's had every door slammed in his face. But the problem with that is that Matt Turner does not have any academy training. He would, you know, he is a rough edged goalkeeper. Like he, he does not, he was not raised in an academy where you were like taught how to do stuff. Like his technique is wrong. You know, like, he is not, uh, yeah, he, he is not well-groomed because Amy came up late. I mean, we're talking about a dude that didn't even get, he was like in consideration for the U.S. national team until he was like 26 years old. Like no youth national team, you know, nothing. Like he was, and you know, he was like the third goalkeeper with the revolution. And that was a miracle, right? That he was a professional player at all because he'd bar- he wasn't given a chance to play college and he had to like walk onto the team. So I have a ton of respect for Turner. Even if he does flame out as a Premier League level keeper, he's a pretty incredible story. He's, he's not a normal professional footballer. He's kind of like, he's that one friend you have that's playing Sunday League that's like, dude, I'm going to make it. And like, you're like, yeah, sure, buddy. And then he just ends up as a goalkeeper in the Prem, and you're like, well, that happened, right? He's a goalkeeper of the World Cup knockouts, and you're like, oh, okay. He's America's Jamie. Yeah, I mean, I would say he's the closest thing to America's Jamie Vardy. Obviously, Vardy had a better peak than Matt Turner, but. All right, Alvaro Rodriguez. Sorry, I was selling this story. Transfer target. I'm not going to sell anyone at the right price. Yeah, I'm down for that. I, I, you guys did uh, re reignite my debate on this because it is a long contract for Joel and Dalla, and that's a pretty unmo- like pretty immovable wage for Joel and Dalla. It is a pretty immovable wage. We're also signing him for free. Uh, yeah, Slanina is still a national team project. Long term, Gaga Slanina is the U.S. goalkeeper. He is that type of guy. He was the starter at Chicago at 18, right? Like he's Gaga Slanina is the opposite of Matt Turner. Adebayo is a hat trick for Luton. Goodness. Goodness me. And Dalla can't play striker, uh, but he actually probably should learn. <laughs> he has the finishing. He just needs to learn to shoot with power and round the keeper, and he'd be really dangerous. But. Right, and getting dog walked by Luton wasn't on my bingo card. That makes Everton a little uncomfortable. Is it in Luton? Are they playing it? I really hope for Brighton's sake this isn't in Brighton. Yeah, that's good. Kenilworth Road has got to be lit right now. It has to be bouncing. Still angry at you Americans that you stole our Slanina? Hey, man, he was born here. All right. Guy, you guys were the ones trying to steal Slanina. Dude was born in Chicago. Born and came up, you know, came up through the academies in, uh, in Chicago. Like, he <laughs> he just has uh, Polish ancestry. He's he's darn good keeper though. Gaga Slaney to he made one of the best saves. I'm signing him, by the way. Yes. I'm signing Joel and Dalla. I actually try him out as a winger. He's got that cuts inside from the wing thing going on. Keep us together. All right, Joel and Dalla, welcome to the team. I'm bringing him in. I, I don't like, I can have one guy that hates big matches on my team as long as I know who he is. Do it, duh. I agree, dear league expectations. How do I not get any? Ge- yeah, it wasn't surprising. <laughs> we lost out to Dortmund for Jorge Souza. You know, but we, we, what we dreamed, and it's important to dream. 
If I get rejected one more time, yeah, I should go to the job center. Might be like a big time international job available that I'll also get rejected from, dude. I cannot wait. Like literally so excited for that. It's crazy how excited I am. Those seats, uh, they don't whine in Babu. I mean, he's not that. He's bad. Yeah, well, he's bad. How about a loan for 60% of his weight? Like, we just want to cover something. Like, you know, we don't we don't need all of it. Shimshir, Kagan, and Mbabu. Okay, well, I mean, like, anybody want Kagan on a transfer? We'll try Errol Shimshir for $2 million, see if anybody bites. Job center. Holy job center, dude. Yeah, it looks like I did. <laughs> You guys thought I had a choice whether I was staying in France or not. The big South American clubs still don't want me. I'll tell you one thing. If we have a big year in France, everybody is going to want me. I'm going to be the hot kid on the block, dude. I get my Continental Pro license, and we get into European play with St. Etienne, I'm going to be able to get whatever job I want. All right. Hi. So all the jobs are open. We're scouting Ruglin Ray. No reason we wouldn't be able to sign him. So, so Germany understandably fired its coach. Italy, France, Spain... All fired their coach after failing to make it to at least the semifinals of the Euros. The U.S. is over. Ah, we managed the U.S. last year. We won uh, the Nations League and the Gold Cup, and you know we did we did our thing. That was what that was all we were gonna do. I would be interested in Spain, France, and Italy. Botafogo is the only one that hasn't rejected me. Oh, and Grimio. I thought they had rejected me. I guess it applied to five jobs, so I still have two jobs available. Grimio, I probably wouldn't take at this point. Botafogo, I might take. Well, it looks like they lost their last match. I might have a shot at France because I... um. Because I'm managing in France, I'll also apply for Spain and Italy and Germany and Netherlands and Belgium. Coaching a massive national team would be fun. Belgium's a Nations League B, which is catastrophic. No offense to the U.S., but I coached them last year, and it's just not something I'd be interested in. They don't get mad at me applying for these jobs because I would be able to do that job and coach St. at the end at the same time. And that would also, the reason I take that job is prep to the World Cup. We'd be able to build ourselves up for the World Cup. Pau just got relegated to the Championnat National, so no. I'm going to go with no. And Babu, they want 20%. Wellington, Phoenix, and Brisbane Roar. Okay. Uh, Brisbane Roar, give me 50% of his wage. Give me 50% of his wage. Oh, my goodness, dude. I hate it here. I hate it here. Well, yo, we signed him before we even finished friggin' scouting him. I guess we delay, but he's really good. He'd be our last foreign player, Santiago Montiel. He'd be our last foreign player.
Any $8 million offers for Stefan Lekovic? Please and thank you. He already has one offer, right? He's already considering the move to Nîmes Olympique. Okay, that's good. I feel like all your players are 5'5". Five, five. Not true. Most of them are 5'6 or more. So. Montiel, not one of those guys. We're going to delay. Let's finish that report, guys. I mean, I know it's like you're probably enjoying your time there, but seriously. Kind of desperate to, desperate to know the answer. He's interested in a move to Europe. I'm interested in bringing him in. Season two with St. Etienne, what's the goal? Push for European places. Oh, he does not want to play in the third division of Germany. Probably wise for your career, Kumalo. Thank goodness it wasn't a big injury. We're trying to get a deal for him. Uh, Alvaro Rodriguez. It's time, dude. You rejected a contract at Anderlecht. I need you to... Do I anger him? I think I anger him. I think the reason he didn't move last time is he thought he's still playing. He thinks he's a regular starter in league all, which he's not. So I'm going to anger him and say, hey, you're a fringe player. He's developing concerns. All right, we're going to play a little hardball here. Alvaro, he's indignant. Yeah, well, I don't know what that means. Because I don't watch Zealand's word of the day, and I feel like I'm out of the loop. You're not part of my plans anymore. I don't think it's, I, I don't think that's fair in the slightest. And I won't agree to it. All right. Well, now it's all kicking off. I'm going to go ahead and add him to the transfer list. Boom. Now you're on the transfer list. How do you feel? Boom. Now you're surplus to requirements. Boom. Now you're probably going to take that transfer for $10 million when it comes in. Aren't you, Alvaro? Yeah, and now that you've realized that you're not a regular player in league on, that that, yeah, maybe Anderlecht should call again. You know, maybe if Anderlecht got on the phone, you'd be able to figure out a move where we could get $10 million and we wouldn't have to put up with your underperforming XG nonsense. Just make him a better player. I'm going to buy a better player. <laughs> Probably already have a better player on my team to be completely. Dude, I could be Jose Mourinho and I wouldn't get a job in Brazil. I could be one of the best. <laughs> I have a three and a half star reputation, a continental A license. I win everywhere I go, except for last year. Whatever. Dude, duh. All right. I mean, I guess we're staying. <laughs> I guess we are staying. All right, hopefully we, we're, we're going to take a shot with our locker room atmosphere in the short term. They're like, huh, Errol Shimshir is available. Maybe we, maybe we would be interested in that. Who wants Kagan? I actually always kind of like Kagan. I think he's pretty good. He just um, he doesn't really fit our plans. Paying him a fair bit of money.
He was okay not playing at all last year. I think he'll be okay not playing at all this year. I'm just I might just keep kegging around. Matt Max, thank you so much for eight months, my dude. Who is it? Lekovic, Amugu, Diallo, Shelter up and Gomez. Shelter up, you're in other players. Forrest scored. All right. All right, I'm going to go with somebody else more deserving would have to be dropped if we gave him playing time. Uh, very, very productive meeting, guys. Very productive meeting. Very happy with that. Great work, everybody. You risk losing him. I want to lose him. That's exactly what I want to happen. Ah, oh, Koulibaly's deal went through. Awesome. Thank you, Mamadou Koulibaly. $1.1 million move to Vissel Kobe. He understood the assignment. He understood that he wasn't good enough anymore. And that it was the right time. Sult of Aragam on the Jupiler Pro League. As a regular starter. That does look quite nice there, Bangani Kamalo. No offers for Lekovic in Chancellor Mbemba's trial coming to an end. Well, he's certainly a decent center back. 118 caps for DR Congo. That's not bad. South Africa scored? Yo. Surely Nottingham Forest isn't going to score a second. The last team that made the World Cup that's still alive in AFCON is on the ropes with 32 minutes to save themselves. It's Bafana Bafana. One Morocco nil. Winner plays freaking Nigeria, I think. I don't remember. <laughs> no, uh, Cape Verde. Could have a South Africa Cape Verde quarterfinal. Be a beautiful moment. South Africa, who've been, I mean, talk about being the bridesmaid in World Cup qualifying last time. They were screwed, dude. They were absolutely screwed. All right, transfer. Oh, come on, Estrella de Amadora is interested. I do seven. I wouldn't go below that. I do a $7 million deal. I would not go below that. I got rejected. By every single job. All right, let's check the intermediary screen. Um, so they, uh, they think an offer between 8.75 and 10.75 that they'd be able to get by tomorrow evening. 9.5 to 10.75, but he takes a more a higher percentage. Hmm. What do we think? Do we want to take this one? It says it may include extra fees and additional clauses. I'm going to I'm going to turn that down and ask the agent about the market interest. Let's invite some offers. I uh, yeah, good news, few teams to be interested. Okay, let's uh let's float that out there then. Let's get those offers in, huh? Hey, Rodriguez, I'm, ex I'm okay with that. Let's go for it. Cool. He is super down. Alvaro Rodriguez is ready to rumble. He's ready to go get me an offer. Come on, baby. Can I get an intermediary for myself? 0 oh, for 5 on major South American jobs. 0 oh, for freaking 5, dude. I'm crazy. But with the Alvaro Rodriguez drama cooking, a crazy Euros in the bag... That is unfortunately where we're going to leave it. Watch the rest of AFCON. Watch the rest of the Premier League. We are going to raid somebody today, so at least stick around to bring the hype with that. But 
You can keep track of that stuff. We'll be back on Thursday, but we have a fun video coming out tomorrow morning. Very fun video. Reese has been working for a long time on it, so I hope you guys enjoy. But thank you guys for all the subs. Matt, thank you so much for the eight months. Wally, thank you for the walls of gifted subs, dude. I appreciated that. Pig Riser, thanks for the batch of gifted subs. Love you guys. Fist bump. Fun hanging out today. Shame we literally can't get another job. So, I mean, we're, we're cooking a second season with Saint at the end to make everybody know how wrong they were. That's what we're doing. Well, let's go find a raid. That's what we're doing. We're going to prove everybody wrong because we're uh, we are good. And we know it. Yeah. Because we are good. I tell myself every morning in the mirror that I'm a good manager. And we watched a fun Euros final. That was a good time. Congratulations to South Korea knocking out Saudi Arabia, keeping the dream alive for an Asian Cup. I'm looking for somebody to raid. Hold on. All right, I got it. This guy's got 15 followers. Just started his streaming journey. Me five years ago type beat. I right, let's go make his day. All right, lads, let's go make his day. Onward and upward to make his day. All right, I'll see you guys on Thursday. No stream tomorrow. Tomorrow's Wednesday. That's video recording day. Faux show. Uh, but we'll be back on Thursday, and we will be hopefully landing a big, important signing. We've made some nice signings. That left back looks like he's going to be great, but we need... We need that one shelter up sized grab. See you guys. All right, word. Word of the day is oh, what the Bailiwick. Bailiwick. Bailiwick refers to the domain or sphere in which someone has superior knowledge of authority or authority. Fundraising events or his bailiwick. Nice. B-A-I-L-I-W-I-C-K. Bailiwick. <laughs> okay. Football manager is my bailiwick. <laughs>